<clears throat> it's been a while since I streamed, hasn't it? Especially it's been a while since I streamed any Pokemon. How's everyone doing? Aiden Roth, Aiden Wit, Hey Trey, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the thanks for eight months, Doug. Really appreciate it. <laughs> thanks for twenty seven months, uh, Shy Dude. Really appreciate it. Alrighty, let's see. Uh, let's make sure that I did this. I haven't actually checked this yet. How's the volume, by the way? Can you hear the in-game volume this time? Aqua Cat Nine Tails. Thanks for twenty seven months. Really appreciate it. You guys can hear the sound, right? Bo, thanks for the 25 months. Really appreciate it. I am not Okay, audio sounds good. Okay. The the issue was very stupid. Like the issue that I was having before was super stupid. Like I'm so dumb. Um, Doug, are you a mod now? You should be a mod. See if that works. It didn't give me an notification. Turbo Lapras. I've already decided on a team. Thanks to Trey for helping me figure this out. We can play 30 battles today, so strap in because it didn't look like it would work. Yes, color. Huh, it doesn't seem to work. Why? Logged in. Uh, I guess I'll try to figure it out later. All right, Magikarp, Dracovish, Dracozolt, Charizard, Double. That's going to be a problem. And Gyarados. So, of course, we got to bring Magikarp. So, the rules of this tournament are simple. It's a 2v2 tournament, and one of the Pokemon you bring has to be Magikarp. So, ordinarily, I would kind of think about Azumarill here. Um, Dragapult looks really strong, honestly. Dragapult looks so strong. Is there any chance that I don't one-shot Dracozolt? There probably is, right? But I can drop the attack. I'm going to do Dragapult here, right? Oh, but if they bring Wulu, I'll lose for sure. Um, I could bring Ferrothorn, but I'm worried about Charizard. I feel like Dracozolt gives me the best options here. So I'm going to do Dracozolt, I think. Yeah, I'm going to do Dra Dracozolt here, I think. This gives me the best options, right? It's good against pretty much everything except for opposing Dracozolt. Steve, thanks for the 25 months. Um, Ro is cool. Thanks for the three months. Oh, I didn't check to see if I had Dynamax candy. I hope I do. <laughs> yeah, so so basically they'll have Magic Carp or something else. Draco Vish. Okay, we should be fine, I think. Probably. Like not guaranteed, but it should be okay, I think. Draco Vish versus Draco Zolt. Uh, I will go for Bounce, and I will go for Max Wind into Draco Vish and pray that I have Dynamax candies. Polar, uh, Polar Kino Moto. Thanks for Prime. Jeff Holloway. Thanks very much for the eight months. <laughs> Hope being a dad's going well, buddy. Uh oh, they're faster. So one thing you can do, like one legit strategy, is you can use faster Magikarp with Max Geyser and Dracovish. And then you get like choice band. Oh, they're not doing a thing. I thought they might do it. Yeah. You can use Wait, do I lose this? If they're faster, I could lose, right? Although Dracovish without strong jaw is not that powerful, so I think I might be okay. Yeah, I'll definitely be at Worlds next year next uh month. Coming up quickly. Starts things in 24 months. Dusky things in three months. All right, let's see. Drake is ult. Do you have Dynamax candy? Cool. You can max airstream with Magic Carp. Yeah, you can with Bounce. Yeah, they're fast. Hang in there, buddy. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Yeah, without strong jaw. Drake of is not that strong. Oh, their Magic Carp slower than mine. That's unusual. Oh, their Magikarp is super slow. All right, this should do half at least, is my guess. Oh, yeah, Drake, Drake is all way stronger. Because um, the reason that this happens is that Hustle doesn't... You don't lose it when you Dynamax for some reason. You really should. It's a broken ability, but you don't lose Hustle when you Dynamax. Um, whereas Strong Jaw only works on certain... Okay, I thought it was weakness policy, and I was about to be very concerned. Let's do the same thing again. Um, I should storm it again. This is lightning. Yeah, the audio is being weird. After this game, I will try and restart it. Like occasionally it, it happens. Okay. Well, that was easy. That was a good start. Very well. Very nice. Um, let me try and open up control. Alt delete task manager. Let me, let me force this. Sometimes um I will have weird audio issues. 
that's weird i quit out but it would still it was still showing let's see if that fixed it seems to be much quieter oh yeah okay let's see if that's any better Wait, why does it say zero why does the number of battle zero i just won wait what wait why does it say zero battles they forfeited <laughs> um i guess drake is old here i could do really anything Yeah, we may actually use Splash this tournament, specifically Splash's max form, which is max guard. We'll have to see. All right, Among Us and Magikarp. I mean, I think I can just one-shot this with the max flare, right? Wait, 220 versus 260? Wait, yeah, no, 210 versus 260. Yeah, I should just bounce and max flare this time. This is 240 versus 210. This is still stronger. I could also max. No, ma there's no need to max lightning. They're maxing Magikarp. Are they gonna max speed Among Us Airstream? Wait, are they? Okay, here's the here's the play. They're gonna be max speed. They're maxing Magikarp. That's so hype. Okay, they max they max Among Us, and then they. Sorry, sorry, the airstream, and then Among Us is max speed, and it ends up being faster than my Dragazold. That's the plan. Granted, I don't think they'll have the damage, but we'll have to see. It could happen. It, this could actually go badly for me. Full Steel Cry, thanks for the 55 months. Master, thanks very much for the Prime. Make sure you join the sub Discord. All right, Dragazold, let's, let's do this. Let's see what we got. Please don't lose to, to Max Magic Carp. That'd be super embarrassing. Please don't lose to Max Magic Carp. Oh. I think this person thinks that the goal is actually to protect the Magikarp. Why is my Magikarp being keeping faster? We don't have any. I don't think I have much speed TVs on this. Oh, that's so hype! That's so hype! I love that. <laughs> Big damage. How big are your muscles? Not very big. I'm not really. I don't really like working out. Uh, Astro King, thanks for the prime. Please be dead. Nice. Okay. Well, that was fun. Among Us did its job. I protected the magic carp, but at a terrible price, <laughs> which is defeat. <laughs> All right. Let's take this thing out. Alrighty, Dragazolt should finish this one off. Let's go, Dragazolt. Wow. How many bounce pairs do you think we're gonna see? At least one is my guess. <laughs> GG. Uh Meta, thanks for the 25 months. Uh Violet Knights. Hey Wolfie, been watching your videos recently, and I was wondering if the competitive Pokemon scene is safe for women slash LGBT people. I'm not sure if I'm wording it right, but I would love to try to get in, but don't want to kill off Rose, as you know. So, I mean, of course, I'm trying to think about how to word this. Basically, I think of gaming spaces, Pokemon in general is really welcoming and really, um, really, really, um, just like in any community, there's going to be bad, there's going to be bad stuff, right? I think of gaming communities, Pokemon is one of the better ones. Um, when, if anyone is ever, you know, like not ever, there have been times in the past where people have been really like crappy to marginalized groups online, but um that was like it was really bad in like 2017 where there was a really bad incident um and it happens every once in a while but whenever it does generally the community response is pretty much like hey you can't do this like this is really terrible so of course there's still individuals who you know are not super nice but i would say the overall vibe um the overall vibe i think is much better than other communities that's my impression at least of course i'm a straight white man so oh there's my win 
um so you know like of course i don't i can't speak from personal experience but um yeah I, I, that's that's my impression at least maybe if there is people who are you know not straight white men here who play who are like in the pokemon community they can share their thoughts because um another one of these um yeah because i'm not really i'm not like i i do what i can to make to make it the community you know um welcoming and inclusive but um yeah like at the end of the day it's it's not it's not like it's not something that i've had to deal with myself personally you know what i mean okay Mimikyu and magikarp um i actually don't know which of my pokemon is best here it's kind of funny because even when you play against only one pokemon it's like like i kind of want to bring dragapult and like you know like hydro pump break the disguise and then uh, you know yeah i'll just do that actually i'm pretty uh, this should be fine I don't have any plans in the short term to continue the reaching rank one evolution series. Um, it's really hard. It's like basically impossible right now, unless you want to use Umbreon um, to get to rank one on the ladder with with like anything that's not super optimal, especially at this point in the season. But they got Mimikyu in this game. Probably going to Airstream SD turn one. Yeah, I guess they could do that, couldn't they? Um, yeah, but to counter that, I can still do this, which is probably decent enough. your opinion on glacian enjoyers <laughs> not my mom not a fan god thanks for the months. appreciate that matt thanks for 13 months and for the kind words hope you're doing well Alrighty, we're kind of schmoovin how's the audio by the way how's the it looks a little loud on my mixer but i could be wrong is it okay is it too loud i have a feeling it's too loud all right is it magic or is it mimic you it's in a poke no it's in a what is that repeat ball no um is that repeat no is that repeat ball Okay, I'm faster, which is good. If I was slower, that could be a problem. Yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out the Hatterini series. Um, yeah, absolutely. They are um, open to, I think they're open to everybody, but it's specifically, I think, like with the intention of um, high, high, um, showcasing like women and like non-binary and uh, LGBT. I'm not sure if it's all LGBT or... Um, yeah. Anyway, it's the, it's the it's the intention of running specific uh, events for people in more like marginalized groups who might not have as many opportunities or like might want a safe space to start playing. Um, I believe there's also a tournament going on sometime soon. I have to check. Um. Yeah, but it, it's 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 yeah a, a really good opportunity. So definitely, I definitely recommend checking checking it out. Is it? Nice. All right, that's the game. Uh, Twitter is your best bet to find it, but maybe someone can link it for me. Alex, thanks very much for the raid. I hope you're doing well. Um, it's been a while, man. I hope you're, hope you're, hope you're having a good one. Hope you had a good stream. Trey, thanks for the two months. Appreciate that, buddy. Shout out to Trey as well for helping me uh, with this tournament because I, I was a little bit lost and he gave me good advice. Dio, thanks for the 28 months. Really appreciate that. Everyone in the sub discord, when we play a soul link with Pokemon challenges, I, I'm super down. It's just like, it's a huge time commitment. And frankly, like I don't, it probably won't be for a while. Like realistically speaking, because um like we have worlds in august and then um the game that i've been working on is coming out in october which i'm super excited for and then uh scarlet and violet come out in november so which only leaves september basically and in september i'm going to be working like basically polishing up the game um and getting it ready for launch so um yeah so probably probably post scarlet and violet if we're going to do it fate phoenix thanks for the twitch prime appreciate it also yeah flail kill Crystal event for Hatterini is tomorrow. We'll free to enter. Anyone can. Yeah. So for those of you who, who don't know, um, we had uh, um, a non-binary player in the scene um, who was just a really great person all around. Um, I didn't know them super well, but every interaction I had with them, they were super positive and they clearly touched a lot of people's lives. And they also like were, I believe, one of the first really prominent non-binary players in the scene. Um, they unfortunately passed away. And so there is a tournament going on tomorrow in there um memory and um if you want to enter it's free to enter Hatterini series is holding it and i believe they, they were really fond of pikachu and raichu um and so they're also giving out like one of their pikachus um to people who enter who are interested so um it's under Hatterini series if you're interested i definitely recommend checking it out it's a good cause um yeah
Do you plan on meeting people at Worlds? No, I'm actually gonna. Okay, so here's my plan. I'm gonna have a little box. No, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a shopping cart, and I'm gonna have a box inside the shopping cart, and I'm gonna like, put it over my head, like a really big box, like a turtle. I'm just gonna be pushed everywhere. I'm not gonna talk to anybody. Oh, okay. This is uh, okay. This is uh, this is a uh, this is a team. Oh, this is spooky. Okay, there's a lot of scary Pokemon here. So, Colossal is one of the big Pokemon in this format because you can side. Um, you can side. I'm gonna do Dragon Bolt, I think. I don't want to play against some of these mons. Um, I could do a Zoomeral here. Basically, the the kind of the, the more basic, not basic. Some of the some of the first things that you'll think about in the format like this is um colossal because you can side hydro pump and activate steam engine and cradilly because you can storm drain your way through um metagross also has weakness policy this if it's metagross or crocodile this is going to be a bad time yeah I, I like i thought about doing colossal but train i agreed that basically like it's really inconsistent because hydro pump isn't accurate so i didn't really want to rely on it um okay but this is this is our first really challenging match i think depending on what they lead we want to see cradilly Colossal or Marowak. We don't want to see Crocodile or Metagross. Who's that? Folks, I think it might be doomed. Why Crocodile? Intimidate? I guess. Ugh. Yeah, this might be bad. I don't think I can win this. I'm sure I can't win this. This is doomed. The issue with this is that if you lead back, if you bring the wrong Pokemon, you were just at a super uphill battle. So, I mean, we'll do our best, but I don't think it's happening, folks, because I'm, I'm about to eat a fatty Max Quake. Storm Ring Gastrodon is okay, but Cradilly is for some reason thought to be better. Uh, they're fast. I mean, they were going to be faster. I don't have any speed on my, on my Drake's ult. I don't have max guard because I mean, I'm a salt this anyway. I think Endure would have worked into this, but I wasn't confident. It doesn't work into Colossal, so I didn't want to do it, basically. I could have gone for it into Colossal. Maybe I should have. Uh... All right, Drake is old. Uh, maybe, maybe Max Worm. Okay, is there any chance Max Worm went two shots? No, right? There's no way. But Max Worm went Hydro Pump, Hydro Pump. Is there any chance I live multiple Max Quakes? Is there any chance I live two Max Quakes? I think probably not to that as well, right? I think I'm in trouble. I don't think I can win this. I haven't seen me win these, to be honest. Oh, they broke my sash. I did so much. Okay. Wait, go into my magic harp. Do it. Oh, okay. That is so much. Wait, 140. Hang on. How much did it do? It did 240, which means it does 170. No, 160. It does like 160. Is it life orb? That just does so much damage. Crit. A ton of damage. Wait, I could. Could I win this? Probably not, right? That did nothing. <laughs> okay. Uh, That's not good. Okay. Is there any chance I win this? I think probably not. It did 246 damage. There's no way the next one only does 140 after Intimidate. Or after uh, Wormwind. Oh, I should have brought... I don't know who I should have brought here. I should have realized that Crocodile looked strong into my team, I think. I think I could have anticipated. I think I, I, I could have given them more credit. I, I assumed that they would just go with Colossal or Cradily. Oh, man. They Hyper Pump me too. Is there any chance I live this? Well, not this, obviously. This. Okay, if they min roll me, maybe that would mean they would have had to do. There's no way. It's not even close. I don't ever live this. I hope that's a crit. It wasn't even a crit. Okay, if Hydro Pump crits, I can win. If Hydro Pump crits, it can maybe KO Crocodile. So it's 80% to connect and then 1 in 22, 23, 24 to crit. Uh, okay, or that could happen. Okay, I'm, uh, let's not waste any time here. That's, that's a crushing defeat. I'm not going to lie. That is a crushing defeat. Wait, is there no ranking in this? How do I see my ranking? Wait, how do I see my ranking in this? They're really taking their time. GG. Yeah, I, I could have brought Porygon here. Maybe I shouldn't have Porygon. I just don't know if I love Porygon into like Colossal or Cradilly. I don't know. Maybe I should have brought Porygon here. I'm not, I think Porygon's my weakest member. Wait, there's no ranking? So how do I know if I win? Oh, standing. Okay, cool. We're being chilling. Okay, cool. 
Top a thousand, baby. Okay, we can do this. It was a rough start. I'm not gonna lie. It was a rough start. What are we? Three one. Okay, we just can't lose again. Yeah. So you have to have a magic carp on your team, and you have to bring magic carp to every battle. I should try not bringing it and just see what it says. Maybe it'll just instantly forfeit for me. team it's basically just a bunch of strong pokemon pokemon that are strong in one of the ones basically that's the idea at least Politoed. okay so the issue is that this could be parish song but the strength is that i can one shot it yeah storm drain basically like the kind of the, the most obvious strats are like cradilly and colossal because you get storm drain and weakness policy i've seen absorbable as well in my testing um absorbable dragapult kicked me kicked me like pretty badly on the ladder we both led dragapult and i was like i'll win this and then they scarf magikarp hydro pumped hit activated absorb bulb and then one shot my dragapult that's something that can be done she didn't just probably not good because they have bounce every magikarp has bounce yeah azumarill's parasong on my team so we'll definitely be using it at some point you talking about you still have to bring magic carp yeah probably just take the first party in your pokemon plus magic carp we got a bounce here to dodge parasong and max lightning to dodge every you cannot bring any legendaries to this tournament so not even not not only like restricted pokemon like i was like oh i bet galarian monstrous is really strong and then you can't bring that either what are you running to magic carp most people are running hydro pump bounce flail and one more i honestly didn't give it very much thought i kind of just took a magic carp that seems like like that was yeah like whatever yeah gen 9 is gonna be crazy gen 9 is gonna be wild it's gonna be good i'm, I'm super hyper this is hydro pump nice oh it's water absorb hey wait, wait what oh maybe it's absorb bulb i don't i don't actually know what's going on but this thing's super gone Goodbye, Polito Ed. Oh, big damage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I have Splash because of Max Guard as well. Yeah, Magikarp gets five moves, I think. It's Hydro Pump, Tackle, Flail, Splash, Bounce, I think. I don't think I learned anything else. Are you guys excited for um, Worlds 2023 in um, Flagstaff, Arizona? I'm super excited, personally. What do you say about Gen 9? I am happy to explain, but I think it's going to be, I think Gen 9 is going to be the biggest Pokemon game since Gen 1, honestly. This tournament is called Jump Magikarp. The rules are simple. You get two, po you, get, you have six Pokemon in your party. You bring two per battle. One of them has to be Magikarp. Also, yeah, sorry, I'm trolling. We, it's not going to be in Flagstaff, Arizona. <laughs> sorry. I guess it's like a running joke, but yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, crit. Yeah, please don't post any, any leaks or any spoilers in this chat, y'all. If you do, I'll ban you. Do you have incident for leaks that tells you about Gen 9? No, I, don't, I actually don't. I don't pay attention to leaks, personally. I might when we get closer to the games because of my job. Like, I wouldn't do it if it weren't for my job. But, like, yeah, I might have to this time. I, I didn't do it for um, Sword and Shield. I don't know. Just, I feel like it really takes away from my enjoyment of the games, personally. But it is what it is. Um, Paul, thank you for the tier one. Really appreciate that. Okay, so we're 4-1 now. I don't think it will I don't think it's even allowed to be in Spain because I think that Spain has rules about prize money and gambling right do Spain have regionals or do they just have special events spoiler Morbius is champion for Gen 9. yo Mally thanks for 54 months really appreciate that thank you thank you 
Oh god, okay, what is this? Uh Weavile, Galissapod, Toxtricity, Dragonite, Obstagoon. This feels like P2 is pretty strong, no? Yeah, P2 is definitely strong here. I'm a little worried about Galisopod, but I have Max Lightning, so it should be okay, and I recover. It should be okay. It's not, yeah, I guess you can't emergency exit. Yeah, I'll do P2 here. Emperor of Ice Cream, thank you for five months. Thank you, thank you. Gumi, thanks for Prime. Really appreciate that. Thanks for all the support, y'all. Really appreciate it. Yeah, just thanks for Prime. Thank you very much. Tried to join your class, but it was already full. Yeah, it filled up in like an hour, like ish. Ooh, D9. I think here it's actually optimal to like max Hailstorm and tackle or like flail it to break the sash. Give me, give me, give me special attack. Give me special attack. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo! Okay, let's let's go for this. Yeah, Dragonite. Bag three. Thanks for uh, eighteen months. Really appreciate that. Hoping to get a double idols to Gen Nine. Thanks for all the work making accessible. No problem at all. My pleasure. Acer, thanks for the prime. Really appreciate that. Wait, is that me or is that them? Okay. Oh. I love Porygon too. I'm not gonna lie. He's just a little guy. He's just a little dude. He's so cute. Look at him. Porygon Z I don't like. Porygon I feel pretty neutral on, but Porygon 2 I love this little guy. Look at him. Thanks for stopping by, pal. Would you ever think of making guys to go over meta teams in Gen 9? Oh yeah, Gen 9. Ah! Gen 9 is gonna be it's gonna be Wolf City, okay? You think you think right now it's Wolf City? No, this isn't even this isn't even Wolf Villa. Okay, this still don't even get me. This is we're not even close to Wolf Town. This is barely Wolf Residency. Gen 9? There's gonna be Wolf City. There's gonna be a lot of competitive content. I've 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 pulled back a lot in, in uh recent months. Gen 9, we are going Omega Turbo Ultra Ultra Turbo Max Hard. Maybe I shouldn't have said that one actually. Anyway, Dragonite's dead. Uh, crit, didn't, crit didn't matter actually. I, I know I know the calc of a Dragonite versus Max P2, Max Dragonite versus Max T2 with plus one P2 with, with uh, Max Hailstorm based off of Blizzard, which is slightly stronger than Ice Beam and also way stronger than Max Icy Wind. <sighs> Okay, it didn't matter. I'm just saying. <clears throat> I'm just saying. I didn't get lucky. I didn't get lucky. I didn't get lucky. It wasn't me. I didn't get lucky. It wasn't me. Actually, the crit didn't matter. Actually, I know every damage cut that I've ever done, and the only ones that matter are the ones when it doesn't crit, okay? Or when my opponent crits me. Those are the ones that matter, okay? They knew I was going to splash on him, so they failed. They forfeited. I heard that if you get frame perfect splash input, it forces the opponent to forfeit. What spread does your magic carve have? I don't know. I, I could not tell you. I don't know. I don't even know where the EVs are. Would you like more defensive Kingdra or offensive Swampert and VGC in singles? I don't like either. Uh, in VGC, I don't. I don't really. I'm not really interested in fan formats at the moment. You know what I mean? Is your merch ship to Malaysia? I'm actually not sure, but I, I. I actually don't know. Does it? Uh. 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 So Draco's looks good into everything except for Darmanitan, but Darman. Oh wait, but Darmanitan can't really max, can it? But Darmanitan's pretty good into a lot of my mons, so they might bring it. Uh, I think I bring Magic Carp, maybe. Cinderachi, Break, Charizard. I really like Break is old here, is the truth. But it's so bad into Darmanitan. But I think I can live a max. Uh, I can live a max move, surely. Uh, Porygon Two is actually pretty decent here. Porygon Two is. Isn't Porygon Two really good here? Porygon 2 is good into... Have they selected? They have not. Um, Porygon 2 is not good into Magnazone is the issue. Um, but it's good into pretty much everything else. Well, Zoomer is good, but also bad into Magnazone. They're not going to bring Magnazone, right? There's no way they bring Magnazone here. I'm call, I'll am call. i call it. There's no way they bring Magnazone. Oh, they haven't locked in yet. Oh, no. That makes me nervous. Please don't bring Celine. Please don't bring Magnazone. Please, I'm begging you, don't bring it. Please. It's a bait. I actually want to bring Magnazone. No, please don't bring it. Uh oh. Nah, no TFT content for me in the, in the short term. Hey, Wolf, have you heard of EDC? It's kind of like jump magic card because we bring four mons and magic card percent, percent usage is way less.
Okay, okay, we're kind of chilling. We're not big chilling, but we're not not chilling either. All right, Magikarp, show them your mega, mega blast. It's a good thing I didn't bring, uh... It's a very good thing I didn't bring, uh, what's it called? Ah, I targeted the wrong mon, I'm dumb. Uh oh who's maxing magikarp magikarp you don't have to do this buddy oh the red attack oh no the thing about darmanitan is when you max it you lose gorilla tactics i'm kind of like a gorilla um <clears throat> oh knuckle they got knuckle in this game big damage actually that wasn't not big damage got attack boost magic card that's scary man oh it's life orb oh they bounced shoot uh i targeted the wrong mon that's actually a big problem it's actually a mega big problem i'm not gonna front what should i do i don't know oh wait i can just win oh but can i win hang on three three Two, two, one, one, and then I win. Okay, I can do it. Oh, but maybe I can't do it actually. If there's Sash, because I targeted the wrong Mon. So my, basically, my options here are. It doesn't work anyway, right? Um, I think I need to go after the Magic Carp here. Two, bounce. I can win. I can win. I messed up though basically my big mistake here was that i needed to bounce the magic carp slot i kind of just turned my brain off because if it's focus sash it will survive this next attack and if it survives the next attack uh, then it becomes really awkward because if it just goes down here then i always win like i have guaranteed game i think but if it doesn't okay quake is it gonna do 40 percent maybe i don't know if it's gonna do 40. that did a lot of damage this is suddenly very bad. Oh, wait, they crit me. Oh, that's not good. Where are they bouncing? Don't para? I can't believe I launched it there. That's so dumb. Oh, I'm so cracked. I'm so cracked. That did nothing. That did zero damage. Why did that do nothing? What? I did nothing. <laughs> two, two, okay. Do I have a safe win here? I don't think so, right? Uh, I guess I just max guard this and bounce. I think I loot. Wait, no, I can win. If I max guard, I can win. Unless they don't bounce this turn. Okay, we're big chilling. Well, we're kind of chill. I, I think we might be chilling. Okay, okay, we're still slower. That's a big deal. Yeah, the thing is that neither Magikarp is affected by Parasong because they both dodge them with Bounce. Okay, they're still faster than me. And they have Gorilla Tactics. That is not ideal at all. Uh, okay, it's going to be Magikarp versus Magikarp in the endgame here. Let's go for Starfall because if it connects. All right, I need a full Para. I need a full Para. Um, I can win. I th We're speed tying. No. Yeah. <laughs> World oh, my buttons difference. aren't working. Well, world champ difference, baby. Why are my buttons not working? World champ difference. Wow. They're not working. World champ difference, baby. I'm so cracked. I'm so cracked. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Uh, bye bye, Jamaica Dan. That's the world champ difference. Buy the merch, baby. Buy the merch to get cool, cool moments like this. Buy the merch. What are you doing? What are you doing? You witnessed it firsthand. Buy the merch. Buy the merch.
oh that is a high-ranked magikarp gamer oh my god okay this is a this is a magikarp gamer who's not messing around holy guacamole look at this team omastar's meta they got omastar in this game okay this is a very high-ranked opponent this is a very high-ranked opponent what am i gonna do i'm thinking i'm thinking okay here's my plan I'm going to bring Azumarill because they're not going to see it coming. They're going to be like, Azumarill, what the heck is that going to do to me? And then, whammy, they're done. Wait, that actually, I was kidding, but that actually works. I don't think they have a single thing for Azumarill on this team. I, I also think they're really Dragazolt weak, though. I think I could, I think I can go with either Dragazolt or, um, either Dragazolt or Azumarill. Do they have anything for Azumarill? I genuinely don't think so. Azumarill eats this whole team for breakfast. Well, I could lose to Ferrothorn. I'll do I'll do Dragon's Old actually, because I could lose to Ferrothorn with with because I can't Parish Song it. Because I don't think I don't see any reason not to Dragon's Old here, except for maybe Dragapult, but it should be okay, right? Physical Pult wins? No, not against my not against my Azumarill. My Azumarill's in the top position of Azumarill. So we just don't want to see. Oh, we're big chilling. We're super chilling. It's super fine. Okay, um, I think we should go for damage here. Yeah, this is getting edited into a YouTube video expeditiously. This will be, this will be on YouTube uh, expeditiously. Okay, this is a really high ranked opponent. So let's see if they Dynamax Magikarp or the Dragon. Oh, okay, that's kind of unusual. They actually chose to Dynamax their Cinderachi, um, which is a little weird in my opinion. Uh, they could steel spike me, but they're not going to do any damage if they do. Like, they're going to reduce my damage output, but they're also gonna, not going to get any of theirs. And thanks for the prime. I think literally half of this tournament is going to be me watching the Dynamax animation. Scorching Sands? Does it learn Scorching Sands? It probably does. Yeah, it's a fire type, right? Yeah, baby. Ah! Wait, what? Why is it max darknessing? What does it think I'm going to do? Is it special? Not yet. Wait, why did they? Oh, it's weakness policy. Oh my God, it's weakness policy. Oh my God, it's weakness policy Cinderachi, but they missed. That's what it is. Yeah, Magikarp. That's big damage, baby. Okay, we should be chilling because it's definitely physical Cinderachi. Just do the same play again. I don't see any reason to do anything different. There's no way they can survive another one. I guess to be fair, if they had connected, then they wouldn't have killed my Dragazolt and I would have won any, like I would have just KO'd them with the chip damage because it would have been fire type super effective. So I, it actually is worse for me that they missed, but I think that the, the result's the same. Owie. All right, I'm PP stalling the Magikarp now. That's my new plan. Oh, wait, they're lowering my special defense. It's kind of a big deal. Because now Magikarp's Hydro Pump will do more. That's why next turn I have to Max Quake. Yeah, Magikarp, let's go, baby. Nice. Magikarp did work this fight. I'm going to say it. Magikarp actually was pretty good this fight. And chip damage added up. I mean, it didn't change the outcome, but it didn't hurt. I need a new cherry. All mine is so squeaky. Like, rip, rip, rip. All right, let's check our ranking. That person was really high ranked, so um, it's a pretty big win. Let's see our let's see our overall rank because we were top a thousand, I think, three games ago. I'm just curious the distribution here. Okay, top 350. Not bad. Number 350. My chair is super beat up. It is like falling apart. Like it's not, it's not, uh, it's been on its last legs. It's been on its last wheels. Oh, that's a bath. 
Look, Elizabeth. Ah, they've got the superb owl. Oh my god, this is a fire team. Should I just FF? This is a fire team. Um, <sighs> what do I want to do here? <clears throat> They have the superb owl, which basically means I can't win. I think I'm a little worried about Agron. I feel like it could be weakness policy. I feel like I can't bring a zoom roll because some Pokemon are slower, right? Aerothorn's not bad here, but if they bring Lampent, I'm so doomed. <laughs> um, I guess I'll do Drake Azult. What am I going to do if they lead with? Ah, it's okay. Even if they lead Grimstorm, I should be all right, right? I hope they leave coughing. That'd be pretty heat. But they have a win, which means they're playing with real mons. What do I do if they bring aggro on is the question. Do I max dragon it? Because it's probably pretty bulky, right? I mean, it has incredible physical defense. I think I just have to, I think I think I just take it. Ugh. Like, okay, basically what I would like to do here is max dragon the Magikarp, but I'm worried about bounce and wasting the max move. So I think I have to max fake. I, I feel like it's going to be weakness policy. It's still a four times effective move. It should do half, right? It should do half, right? It's Agron, but I mean, it's uh, it's four times effective. It should do half. 30 counter Agron. Uh-oh. Wait a second. Wait a... Wait, if it's 30 counter and I miss... It's not going to KO and max. I'm, I'm looking for a two shot, and I don't think I'll get one shot in return. Okay, I'm either faster or they didn't max. Oh, no, it's knocked over my thing. Darn it. Metal Burst is okay, but counter would be a problem. Especially if I, I, I figured it was weakness policy, but it could be sturdy counter. Hey, Al, how you doing? Okay, but is it Aggron or is it Magikarp? It's an Ultra Ball. It's probably Aggron, right? I would catch Aggron in an Ultra Ball before I caught Magikarp in an Ultra Ball. Actually, I'd catch them both because that's just like the default ball. Okay, well, it's not sturdy counter, but it may be weakness policy which would be scary maybe i should have worm winded the magic harp side hydro pump do it for a second i thought it might be weak armor tackle hey okay. tell me that's a crit that's not even a crit okay a crit non-max hydro pump would one shot this agron all right i'm no longer a fan of agron i'm no longer an agron fan I am no longer an Agron fan. What was that? Agron, explain yourself. That was a crazy magic card hit. You know, I think I should have been... Oh, wait, no. I can't be Choice Specs Magikarp. I was thinking maybe Choice Specs Magikarp would be good here, but you really want to be able to bounce and Hydro Pump. I think... I think Metronome Magikarp would be pretty good. I bet Metronome Magikarp would be good. I'm back, baby. Let's go Mets. <laughs> Let's go Mets. Love the Mets, baby. No, wait. No, Metronome wouldn't work either. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. I don't think these are... I, I don't got Magic Carp based EVs because it's not supposed to do that much. Or maybe... Wait, maybe it is supposed to do that much. By the way, you know what Magic Carp's physical defense is? I'm pretty sure it's either 15 or 20. I think it's literally 15 or 20 physical defense. 60 isn't that bad. All right. Nice win. GG, Elizabeth. Okay. One more win and we're in the 1600. Magic of physical events is weirdly 55. Wait, what am I thinking of them? What, which stat is it? That's like terrible. Uh oh, this is a pretty high ranked opponent. So we gotta be careful here. Oh, Noe. They've got Garchomp. They got Rotom. They've got Cinderachi. They've got Lapras. They got Magikarp. Ugh. Uh, I guess I'll look at Magikarp's physical defense later. Um, okay, so what do I see here? I don't I don't think I can do Dracozolt. Ah I, I only can't do Dracozolt if they do Garchomp, right? What are my options? P2 is pretty decent here, but it's not great into Mimic you, I would say. It's not terrible into Mimic you. P2 kind of keeps my options open versus everything. Ferrothorn's great, except into the, um, it's just not good into the lap, to the Cinderace. Rotom, do I think they're going to bring Rotom here? Really? Do I think they're going to bring it? I think they're going to bring Garchomp, right? Should I read a Garchomp? <laughs> oh, 
pulled. Yeah, I maybe shouldn't have pulled here. I got kind of spooked by the guard chomp. What is Magikarp's stats? I gotta look at it. Now it's bothering me. I thought it had base 10 defense. Oh, base 10 attack. Oh, Cinderachi. Okay. Hooky. That's a Cinderachi as far as I can tell. All right. Um, I think that's a good matchup for me. Bring Pharaoh and Max Magikarp if they bring Cinderachi. Yeah, it I've actually done that before <laughs> in testing. <laughs> um, but it's not very consistent. And it depends on if they're G Max or regular Max Cinderachi. Okay, here comes the Max. Could be Magikarp. Maybe it's Magikarp. So this, this is Umeral set. Maybe we might get to see it here. It kind of depends on the damage rolls and where they target. Um, but it's kind of an allude to dive cats a little bit, which is the live hard uh, per line thing. Max can knuckle. Uh-oh. If they don't bounce, we're in great shape. If they do bounce, uh, we are not in great shape. The Umeral takes a ton of damage. Don't bounce. Don't. Oh, big crit. Being crit here is actually pretty nice, I think. Don't bounce, 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 don't bounce. Magic Carpe. I wish it. Oh, I'm faster. That's a big problem, actually. Don't bounce, don't bounce. You want to hydrate with me so bad. Yeah. Woo! Yeah, baby. Okay. That's really good. All right. So we got the timer on Cinderachi, timer on the Magic Carpe, and Azumari. All right. Watch and learn, folks. Behold. Endure. So let's see if this works. I have a feeling it might. So endure moves before other moves. It's kind of like protect, but Wolf, why wouldn't you just want to run protect? Oh, that didn't work. Uh, I should have run protect is the answer. That didn't work at all. That really didn't work. Never mind. Okay, well, I'll have to do my 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 anime side character explains the main character's powers later. Sorry, y'all. It's okay. That's okay. That's actually kind of bad. That's actually pretty bad, though it should be all right. It's no longer all right. Okay. Um. I am now in danger of losing this. But I can set up the rain to cover for that. If it's as long as it's swift swim. I can set up the rain to cover for this. I actually just Omega brained my way through this. All right, Dynamax Magikarp, let's go. Oh, oh my God, you're so right. I could have bounced. Oh my God, I could have bounced. I would have been fine. It's okay, I won anyway. Yeah, that was the wrong play. Sorry, but it's but now I have Max Magic Carp, and I can explain something cool. So, here's the deal. Oh, okay, I went anyway. Okay, so here's the deal. Basically, right now the way that Parish Song works, um, when the timer hits zero, all of my Pokemon will faint. Now, Magic Carp is actually a really good partner to pair with Parish Song because you can bounce to dodge the Parish Song, and that is like a pseudo protect. So it actually works out pretty well. Um. Now, you might notice some of the Magikarp, I think this Magikarp, for example, actually run Tackle, but I've opted not to run Tackle despite Magikarp's five moves that I can learn being Tackle, Flail, Bounce, and Hydro Pump. And the reason why I have chosen not to run Tackle and instead to run Splash, a move that is normally considered useless, is that for this specific tournament, I can use Splash to turn into Max Guard. And Max Guard is really great when you're stalling out Parasong. So if my Magikarp only had one HP left, I could use it to block and stay alive, which is why I made that play that I did last turn. Now, Magikarp, who normally can't protect itself in any circumstances, thanks to Splash turning into Max Guard, is able to keep itself safe, which is why I Dynamaxed it. <laughs> GG. GG. Nice job, Magikarp.
Magikarp actually did a lot with Max Geyser. I don't know if y'all saw that. It did way more than I thought it was gonna. All right, so we were at 350. We won two games. Let's see where we're at now. We should be over 1600. Top 157. Cool. Okay. Not bad. Does anyone know, do the um, games reset in 15 minutes or an hour and 15 minutes? <clears throat> an hour 15 minutes oh this took way less time than i thought it was gonna i i was like gonna start at five and i was like yeah that won't give me enough time like so i started at six i was like yeah two hours it should take me two hours to play 15 games oh i don't have to play 15 games i have to play 30 i'm actually i'm actually perfectly i'm a little bit behind okay i'm a little behind Wait, no. Wait, is it, what day, is it Friday? What day is it? Ah! Clefable, Ferrothorn, Chansey, Cinderachi. I think this is Dragon's old game. Um, it's not Porygon 2 because of Chansey. It's kind of feels really risky to go with. Um, it feels really risky to go with the Zoom roll here because of Ferrothorn. If they have Ferrothorn, do I just lose? If they have Ferrothorn, I can't win, right? If I have Ferrothorn, well, it depends on the Ferrothorn set. I might be able to win even if they have Ferrothorn. What do I do? I mean, my own Ferrothorn's not bad here. I feel like it's just Dragazolt here. I don't really know what Chansey or Clefable are doing is the truth. Um, and this is boom. Thanks for the prime. I have no idea, y'all. I, I could do... No, I can't do Dragapult. They have Chansey, right? They're not going to bring Chansey versus me, right? But if I, I can't beat Ferrothorn if I do Dragapult. I'm going to do Dracozult. Uh, I'm not really following BGC World Cup now. <sighs> Ferrothorn's issue is that it can kill Magikarp, actually, if you do a Zoomerill. Let's see. I don't really know what Clefable does. That's probably the one I'm most worried about. Ferrothorn. I should be winning this. I really should be winning this, unless something really ridiculous happens. Because I have Max Flare. <sighs> this is a pretty... Wait, is this opponent high ranked? Actually, I wasn't paying attention, I think. I think they're mo moderately high ranked. They're not Dynamaxing Magikarp, most likely. Okay. Big Dragon. <laughs> I think it's okay. I mean, I, I was kind of hoping they'd get greedy and go for like Leech Seed or something, but I think it's okay. The question is, what are they doing? Because they, they can't really damp. Uh-oh. They're not going to protect, right? Uh-oh. Uh, I think I'm okay, but I am now scared. They can start doing speed control stuff. They can also go for Max Geyser. Okay. Max Geyser's not going to save them, I'm afraid. I don't think... I mean, maybe I shouldn't speak too soon. Oh, they're so cracked. They're so cracked. Oh, my God. Uh, I think it's okay still. Oh, my God. Big damage. <laughs> Okay, I think we're okay. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not positive. Okay, so Swift Swim's now active. Um, okay, wait, hang on. Let's think about this. It will do double what it just did with with Max Flare. So I'm going to go ahead and... Is it really worth risking it? No, it'll do double. That's I did 40%. It did 38%. So if it does double that, that's 76%. 38 plus 76 is 114 minus 6% for leftovers. It's dead. Ah. 
Oh my god. Okay, how much do you think this does? To my magic carp, it's gonna do a bunch. To my Dragazel, not that much. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, we should win now, I think. <laughs> no, I don't know. Max Magic Carp. I mean, we saw good. I mean, Max Magic Carp won the last game, so you never know. Max Flare will do less than it's raining, yes, but it will do half of what it will do double what it did before because it does a quarter in neutral weather through protect, and then it will do uh, a half, which is double what it does in the rain, but non non protect. So that's the math. That's that's why thirty eight seventy six. 114 108 is the math i think gg gg I, I i respect it when you lead badly you have to do wacky stuff to have a chance because like if they max ferrothorn they were gonna lose two like there wasn't a way out of that for them so i i i like the gamble that they took they could have like i think it was tough if their magic card was faster than my dragon's what they could have done there like i think their only way out was like Leech Seed the Drake Azult and Max Geyser the Drake Azult and hope that you're faster, live the hit, and then like protect Max Geyser to maintain the rain. And then I don't think you can do it, to be honest. <clears throat> Alder Chemist, thanks for 26 months. Um, okay, this is a standard team, but it's a scary standard team. I can do a zoom roll, but I don't know. Is Cradily slower? Does anyone know? Is Cradily slower than Mince Speed Cradily has got to be slower than a zoom roll, right? Also, I don't know if it'd be colossal. P2 is okay. Dragapult's pretty decent here. Um, charge deal spike guard into hustle misses. Yeah, that was actually probably the play. That was probably the play, right? Though you still would need a lot of hustle misses because like, yeah. Yeah, you need a lot of hustle misses. But anyway, we got to focus on this game. Um, I kind of want to do deep ult, but I probably shouldn't, right? Min speed, Creed Ellie, 43. Min speed, is 49. I guess there's no reason not to run a min speed. I can do P2 here for Dragazolt, or uh, for Dragapult. I don't know if Dragazolt actually beats Dragapult, but I kind of hope it does. Do I think they're going to lead Dragapult here? It's really risky to lead Dragapult in front of P2 in a zoom roll, I think. So I don't think they're going to lead Dragapult. And I, I'm kind of confident that I can beat Magikarp with, or Cradilly with Dragazolt. I think I can beat Cinderachi with Dragazolt. Pokemon Pixels, thanks for the three months. Really appreciate that. Dragazolt has Fire Fang. I don't know if it learns anything else. Are you winning this tournament? Not yet, but I was I'm probably top 150 at this point. Colossal. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so I have two options here, basically. Um, I can Hydro Pump their Colossal, and they, the issue with that is that I risk if they miss their Hydro Pump. Could Max Geyser. I'm just saying. I'm going to go Hydro Pump. Let's get as much damage done as I can. Max Geyser. I don't think I need to Max Geyser. I think I can do this. But maybe, maybe Max Geyser is better. I'm not sure. <clears throat> Imagine my Magikarp is faster and I Max Geyser them. And then their Colossal is like super slow and they have Swift Swim Magikarp. I don't think that, I, don't, I literally don't think it's possible. If they have like Min Speed Colossal, then maybe. Okay. Well, here comes the boom. Our hope is that both of us get geysers off here. Or sorry, both of us hit our hydro pumps. Or neither of us. No, we really want both of them to hit, right? They missed? Okay, Magikarp, don't grief me. You Magikarp griefer. Oh, never mind. You're cracked. You're so cracked. Oh my God, that's a lot of damage. Oh my God, that's a lot of damage. They're lucky they didn't hit themselves. That's a lot of damage. Don't worry, buddy, Colossal. I got you. I got you, buddy. Uh oh, that's not going to do that much. Colossal is basically 80 offenses, I'm pretty sure. That's plus two, by the way. That's plus two Colossal. It didn't even kill. Bop. I mean, if it lives this, I'm in bad shape, to be honest. So let's not celebrate too soon. Bop. Okay, GG. Nice. 
yeah dragon's Wolf, I, I wanted to use dragon's Wolf for this tournament because it's really good into both cradily and colossal cradily i'm less certain on i definitely lost one in practice Oh, I missed the frame perfect input. All right, behold. My secret tech. I did nothing. Oh, because they're like, they're like, yeah, minus nature, zero IVs. That's why. I don't think I've actually seen Splash's animation in this game. Okay. I wanted to confirm whether it was Sash on these teams. I'm pretty sure it's Scarf, but I wasn't like positive. GG. <laughs> I feel you, L. I don't really know how to stream either. All right, we're kind of schmoving. This is going a lot faster than I thought it was. Than I thought it would. Thought it would. Oh my god. Top top sixty. Not bad. How many games do I have left? Four, three. 13, 14, 15. I have three games left. Wolf, can I have a hug? For sure. I'll send you one via pitch carrier pigeon. Derek Fire, thanks for 21. Hey, Japanese player ranked pretty highly. I think it's Jets Japanese, no? Oh, this is this is a team I've seen before. Ah, but P2 is on it. Ah, I don't know what to do against this. Azumarill? Azumar any Azumarills in chat? Okay, they haven't locked in immediately, which to me means that like they have like a <laughs> I don't like it, man. I'm not chilling. <sighs> I don't like it at all. Um, they're not locking in. I think I want. Do I want to gamble that they're not going to bring Pharaoh? Do I want to gamble? I'm pretty sure that Azu is slower than PQ. Azu beats Dracovish. Dracovish. P2, Cinderachi, Lapras. So it only loses to Magikarp. But Dracozol beats kind of everything, right? If they bring... Okay, I'm confident at 1v1s, Dracovish, Vish, Ferrothorn, and Cinderachi. And it should beat the other two as well. I'm going to do Dracozol. I think it's strong. But I want to do Azumarill. But I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure Azumarill is lower base speed, right? I'm just not confident I can beat Ferrothorn. And Ferrothorn looks pretty strong into my team, I think. I'm going to do Dragazolt. What is the meta here? It's basically just a lot of strong max mons. It, this is basically 1v1, but you have Magikarp like, as well. So it's like mons that are good in 1v1s are good here, but like you also have Magikarp, so you get access to stuff like Weakness Policy, Colossal, and Storm Drain, Creedily, and Gastron and stuff. Okay, we'd love to see Ferrothorn, or... S we just really don't want to see P2 or Lapras. That's P2. I should have brought... <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> it might be okay. I just don't know how much damage my moves do, is the truth. And they're going to get speed control over me, right? If they just start... It's going to be Fizz, right? Special? What is Magikarp's special defense stat? Do I win this? There's no way, right? No, I can win this. Trust. Okay. I got to get the electric terrain up. I, I don't think this is doomed, but I think it's like not the ideal matchup. You know what I mean? Also, I don't think Azumarill beats P2. I'm pretty sure I can get one shot by Max Lightning. I think Dragozil can overpower P2 maybe. Uh, that's what I'm banking on. P2 is super bulky, but it has to max here. I'm basically worried it's going to like strike me. And then I'm really just bummed to got a special attack boost, honestly. And my 55 year old dad is running ditto in this that's actually so heat i mean it's heat until you copy uh until you copy their magic carp <laughs> it's so funny p2 having ice beam isn't what i'm worried about i'm worried about it being like basically max strike max strike max guard 
and I don't two shot it that's what I'm worried about all the damage is gonna be really important but it is hustle like hustle drag as old so it should be and they can't stop the terrain right okay that's good I didn't target that slot I could hard read and go for a max lightning into that slot next turn picking a max guard okay hydro pump this can do 10 percent that actually did about as much as I that did more than I was hoping to be honest I don't think I can overpower this thing folks I'm gonna be completely honest because it's gonna get it's gonna get um speed control over me with max strike I think I'm doomed oh they went for hailstorm they're 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 inting they did so much damage tell me that's a crit what is this Pokemon Is there any chance I can win this? No, right? 178, 386. Okay, Max Lightning's gonna do a little bit more, but I'll get KO'd. I have to pray that they mess up. I have to pray that they go for Hailstorm here, I think. That's the win condition. They have to Hailstorm here. After seeing that damage, I no longer... No, Para? Okay. After seeing that damage... You know... Is there any chance no that yeah mm, they don't know they, they actually wait they might be min speed p2 in which case is there any chance wait is there any chance i can live the hailstorm i'm pretty confident okay hang on if i live this gonna be close i should live i live but i don't take another one i don't take another turn of hail oh no i I could max flare. Wait, do I even survive? I could max flare, but I can't target anybody because they're gonna they're gonna. Oh. Okay, what's my win condition? My win condition is that they're four attacks and don't ever cover, right? Oh. I can't win. They would need to mess up really badly. They would need to not max guard here, and they'd need to bounce. That's my only win condition. Maybe Max... No, Max Flair didn't, wouldn't have worked. There is a world. If the, if it's if it's four attack P2 and... If the Magikarp is choiced into bounce somehow. If it's like choice scarf Magikarp or something. There's no way. Yeah, I couldn't side target with Max moves, but I, I don't think I would have done it anyway. I didn't even think about it. I don't know. Okay, wait. P2 should die to this. Okay, we Magikarp versus Magikarp, but I've taken more damage than they have. But I might swing that here because we've each taken a bounce. I have a special boost. They don't have any boosts. You know, I could have max dragon there if I'd really thought about it, but I'm, I think it would have been close whether or not it killed. So, okay, no buttons, no buttons, no input, no input, no input. All right, they're faster than me. Bounce misses. My bounce comes next. It misses. My Magikarp's a griefer. He doesn't like having fun. Magikarp, what the heck? Ugh. You'd much rather be the faster Magikarp. If you're the faster Magikarp and you're not choice, then you always win. So let's see. Are they choice or not? That's the question. They're not choice. They just win. Ugh. I can't believe I missed that. Yeah, now they have bounce priority. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe I missed. Oh no, I was doing so well. Okay, tackle again. Trust. Do it. Do it. Trust. Okay, they have bounce priority over me. Hang on a second. So bounce is going to do how much? How much is bounce going to do, folks? Is there any chance it puts me in a range where flail will be like 250 base power and I will kill with it? Let's find out. Okay. That's not enough. This they They absolutely boomed me. Tackle, 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 tackle. Oh, oh, no, oh my God, I could have done it. I could have done it, you piece of, ah, I would have won. I would have won, no. 
they needed to i cannot believe that they got bounce dodge into bounce full para into para into para what was that oh my beautiful ranking all right two games left for today Okay, we need to go at least 13 and 2. Otherwise, our dreams of winning the Magic Card tournament are going to be much harder. Mike Wazowski. Oh, this is a nightmare matchup. There is no chance. I guess I'll bring Magic Card. Uh, this is really bad. This is some scary dragons. Every Pokemon is a dragon. just 25 percent at 7 hp wait really what's the base power at 7 hp what i want to bring here i don't know just somebody good what's the base power anyone know what's the base power at 7 hp 7 hp out of what how much do i have If you're fighting against dragon types, you use a fairy type. 150 BP? That's enough, baby. That's probably not enough. That would mean it would do like four times the amount of tackle. Okay, I probably would have needed bounce to hit and then tackle or flail it. Like two, I would have needed everything to work. Like I would have needed no full para, basically. We have a Garchomp. Ah, uh, you couldn't have told me that a second earlier, bub. Did I hit your beard? No. Okay, Magic Carb. Enough messing around. Are probably like, oh no, I'm gonna lose because I have a bad matchup into a fairy type. Well, you do, but not for the reasons you think. You ever think about that one, kid? Uh oh, uh oh. Luxury bow. I don't think that's max magic card, folks. Dig Garchomp. Oh my god, I would be turbo, turbo boned. But I think they're maxing. The big snark. Yeah, I don't think I get one shot, right? There's no way. Oh, if they bounce, I'm actually in big, big trouble. If they bounce, I might be hosed here. Because I don't think I can kill Magic Harp if they bounce. <laughs> the issue now is that, like, it's going to be Magic Harp versus Magic Harp, but I'm going to be losing. You know what I mean? Well, it might be okay, actually. Because they can't max Worm on me again, right? Basically, I can double max Dragon or max Fairy into the um, Magikarp, and I just had to pray that it KOs, right? I think that's my play. I have to get rid of the Magikarp at this point. Yeah, I got Flail now, baby. <gasps> Wait, do you know what I should have done here? No, it doesn't work. I was thinking what I could have done here was I could have gone for Max Geyser, set the rain up, outsped the Garchomp, and then flailed the Magikarp, but their Magikarp is faster than my Magikarp, so it doesn't work. But it was almost cool. This is looking kind of bad, but I think I might be able to do it. Oh no, they real- oh my god, they're so good! They have Steel Spike. Uh, I don't think I can win this. Hey, don't para me. Crit me, that's fine. Please connect. Okay, I connected. I need to, I'm gonna need to crit, folks. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That's really bad. Wait, unless I get double full para, then it's good. How much is this gonna do? Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Uh folks, I may I may be in need of a critical hit. They just super outplayed me uh okay can i win this probably not i will go for this and i guess i have to keep doing this because i am getting destroyed you know what i could have done here no i didn't i couldn't have read this there was no way i was going to read them targeting magic Carp turn one hydro bump might be my best bet but i still want to go for flail okay please don't target magic Carp. they're so good all right i need paras and crits here that's my way out I need, I need, I need, I probably need a crit. I, I, I need, I need one crit and I win. Um, I 
para okay okay give me a, give me a crit it only it, it only i need double full para for it to matter or, or one crit crit that's not good folks uh it's the last turn of para song and they're faster than me so it is looking very doomed unless they side earthquake or something i think this one's going to go into the garbage can I don't think I could have done anything about this, to be honest. I would have had to predict the bounce para, but I couldn't have done that. Earthquake, 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 earthquake. Uh oh. All right. Even with a second para, we would still need a crit. So the odds of us winning are like one in a hundred, basically. Yeah, that, that steals it. Ah, I got outplayed. Was Max Geyser stronger? What's the zoom rolls attack stat? I should check. What, what's the Zoomerol's attack stat? Oh, they super. That's how you beat it. Yeah, okay. Well played. I, I guess I had to learn the hard way. They played really well, honestly. I'm not even upset about that. Why not perish turn two? Because if I pair, I'm like, if they just max quake into a Zoomerol, I'll just die to turn two. You know what I mean? So I would have had to read it and I couldn't, I couldn't do that. Base 50? We're both 50? Yeah, but Geyser's resisted. And Magikarp's, wait, what are Magikarp's stats? Oh, it is base 20 special defense. You know, all right, now I know. <clears throat> now I know it has base 20 special defense. I probably should have been max geysering there. I probably should have been max geysering. That's my bad, especially after the attack drop. Yeah, dive is a lot weaker, but max geyser is probably stronger. All right, let's win this last one because I'm, I'm about to be out of games. This looks like a team I would build in like gen, gen six. <clears throat> okay, they have Reuniclus, Draco, Draco, Vish. It's just Draco, right? Nah, yeah, they have Magikarp. It could be like Magnet Rise, Klefki. I wanna gotta watch out for that. I haven't really been bringing Draco's old, have I? I'll use Dragon's Ult. I think it's good here. Yeah, I don't know if it would have mattered, to be honest. <clears throat> like, I don't know if two geysers would have KO'd. I guess the first one... I, I would. Yeah, I guess I needed to go for Rain Boost Geyser and a Rain Boost Geyser. I'm going to count that really quick. I don't know much what red people are running. But let's say a Zoom Roll. Actually, okay. It doesn't even have dive in the calc. What is dive's base power? It's like space, right? Oh my god, Max Geyser does so much more. Oh, I threw. Okay, I could have won. I actually, I should have won that one. That's my bad. That's actually my bad. Yeah, okay, I could have won that one. That's my, that's my bad. I didn't realize that Geyser was stronger against like a, I mean, Magikarp. Yeah, I didn't realize. I, I thought it had really low base defense and decent special defense. I didn't realize it was reversed. It's okay. Live and learn. <clears throat> In the long run, one loss probably isn't going to be the make or break here, realistically. Dive is physical? What? No, really? Wait, is dive physical? Yeah, I guess it is. Oh. My Azumarill has the wrong... I should have been Dazzling Gleam Azumarill. Oh my god, they're going after Magikarp. No! Magikarp dodging! Wait, they just airstreamed in front of Dracozole? Oh, Magikarp did dodge it. Let's go, Magikarp. Nice job. I didn't know it was physical. Life Orb. <gasps> Bounce! They're targeting Magikarp. It's really rude of them. Ah. That's good damage. I'm not even going to lie to you. I almost wonder if you should just run choice specs. No, you definitely... I mean, not on my team, obviously. Oh, that thing's super... Super... Long, it's going to be close on whether or not that thing goes down to life orb. Um, But I may as well just double it anyway. I should just drag it again just in case. Yeah. 
Yeah, I literally only have used Dive and Emerald Kaizo. So I thought it was special. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I guess I never really did Dive Cats, I think. Not seriously, at least. Like, I probably played a couple games with it on the ladder, but... So we peaked at top 150. Did we get a win after? We won. We got to top 150 and then we won, right? Oh, it survived. Oh, they missed. Nice. I just saw ball guy in the back. I don't think I ever noticed that before that he like falls over when a Pokemon gets knocked out. All right, we gotta watch out for flail now. We're in flail range. Okay, they could win this. Okay, they, their flail one shots my magic harp. Oh wait, no, they have to bounce first. Okay, never mind. We can't lose. Let's hustle, you know, it's inaccurate. I'm just saying. 59th? Did we check that? Oh yeah, we were 59th. Yeah. All right, we peaked at 59th. I don't remember what our actual score was. How much do you think this does? Oh no, okay, Flail is not good. I didn't realize how bad Flail was. That is really bad. That is unbelievably bad. That was really bad. Okay, so we're... I don't think it will let me in. 157? 157th? Okay. So we have another 45 minutes before we can play more. So I guess we're just big chilling for a while. Y'all, You guys just want to hang out and take a little break? Maybe I'll order some food because I haven't had dinner. Is it cool? Let me get some water first. All right, I'm back. All right, how's everyone doing? Maybe I should order some food. What do I want? leftover beans so we got some beans in the chat oh my gosh i don't know what i want making decisions is difficult you know what i mean would you ever play 
Moemon? What, like Mo from The Simpsons? Are you excited for Worlds next month? Right now, more stressed than excited, but yeah, I, I am excited. It just, uh, it's really difficult and I'm not where I want to be just yet. So it's just really stressful. Do you think Sour Patch Kids actually expire? I'm not an expert. I'm not the person to ask about this. I have no idea. Are your TFT days behind you? I think my days of, I, I've, I know my days of TFT are not behind me. I, if it weren't for Worlds, I would have cast an event this season. Um, but I think that it's, I have a hard time balancing plan. Like, I think that it's probably not smart for me to try and be like the TFT world champion. Realistically, I think it's not a good investment of my time. I think people are too good and I'm not good enough. Um, good anime girls. No, thank you. Make a pull and decide dinner. I don't think I trust. I don't think I want to trust chat with that. You know what I mean? Will we finally see Weezing next month? Hey, no spoilers. After finishing matches, do you make any changes to the team? Not really. Like, I, like okay, the game is I lost. I lost one game because I brought the like I picked the wrong mon. I lost one game because I just got outplayed. Like, I mean, I probably picked the wrong mon too, but I probably should have brought Draco. I mean, no, I'm Dragapult there. We thought about doing the world champ lock. I suggested. I think like what I've noticed about I, I've playthroughs I haven't done super well on my channel apart from like the Emerald Kaiser Nuzlocke to be honest. Um, and I don't know like. When I think about videos, I think about like, how do I show more people how great Pokemon is, right? Like that's the goal. I want my goal with my channel, I guess for y'all, so y'all are aware is that, um, I want to like get people, like get people in who are kind of casually interested in Pokemon and then show them what makes competitive Pokemon so great. So I, I make my content with that in mind. Um, and the thing about doing a world champ lock is if you don't already know who I am, then like, oh, that made it so much worse. What did I just do? Um, if you don't already know, know who I am, so why why would you click on that video? You know what I mean? If you know what God, how do I make it worse? What did I do? Um Yeah, so I don't know. That's that's kind of where I'm where I'm thinking. So it's not that I think it's a bad idea, it's just that like I don't know if it's where How does it keep getting I've had glasses since I was in third grade. These lenses are weird. I'm they keep getting worse. I guess I'll deal with that later. I have a question. Is anyone here? Is anyone here? Has anyone here been introduced to me via the short form content like TikTok or, or, um, or YouTube? Oh, wait, do I have a microfiber cloth? One sec. Oh, you were so cracked, Doug. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I, like, I feel like the shorts are really, really good as like, yeah, just just introducing people to things in like a, a bite-sized fashion that's like fun to watch. You know what I mean? That's the goal of them at least. Most of you I assume are on YouTube shorts or on or are some of them on TikTok are some of y'all TikTok viewers. I feel like the the two people on each platform don't really tend to to mingle with the other platform. Oh my god, Doug, you're so smart. I would have never considered this in my life. I literally would have never considered this. I did through Peachell's tourney. That's awesome. Yeah, it's always cool seeing like how people get introduced to my content. Um, there's going to be a lot of new people, I think, when uh, Scarlet and Violet come out. What should Wolf have for dinner? Oh, no. Who did this? This seems like a cat decision. Magikarp. I'm vegetarian, you, you heathens. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate everyone. Honestly, y'all, I, I want to say like, I mean, normally people who are in my streams are like people who are going to be like, and like the most supportive of my my stuff i really appreciate y'all who like watch the videos leave especially the short form stuff as that's kind of growing and, and new like watching a video th all the way through like leaving likes leaving comments all y'all who do that like even if like i know that some of you are just leaving comments or liking it just like to support me and that really means a lot and i want to say thank you for that because i really do appreciate it um and that's like super important like having having people who like yeah especially with short form content my understanding of the way the algorithms work is that like your your like fans or whatever the people who like are gonna like more of your content play a really big role in how much it gets pushed out to the general audience so um yeah i really appreciate y'all who, who do that marbles for dinner <laughs> i agree epic uh epic ovic oh ari povic sorry um
Thanks very much, Chibero. Yeah. Are y'all are, are y'all y'all are aware of the shorts channel, right? And then you see I assume you've seen the shorts channel and then you also see the shorts on main. I'm just curious how like I'm curious how it works from an outside perspective. TV Truman, thanks very much for the prime. Really appreciate that, dog. Thank you, thank you. Dog is gender neutral, right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be, right? It's de I dog is definitely de gender neutral, 100. percent My fiance refuses to play doubles and it furious me. <laughs> They'll come around. Don't worry. Doubles is, is so fun. They'll come around. Nodders. What rating we'll finish at? I think we're like 16, 14. We can I can check for you. Man, where's my uh, where's my button color? 16, 14. Let's go. Yeah, not 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 a cr like an incredibly good start, but not a terrible one. I think we went 12 and three, as I recall. The first day is really the second day is the really important one when you want to do well in these tournaments is my is my impression. You really want to have a strong second day. Just text. Just, just, just sending some text. I guess I'll just eat later at this point because it's already 7:30. I'm not that hungry. Is do gender neutral? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an expert on this thing. Do you think you could do like half content for casual, another half for hardcore? Because I would like short form content, but for the core base, if that makes sense. Love the content either way. My goal with my content, and of course, I'm always learning, I'm always trying to get better with it. But my goal is to make content that is not exclusionary if you're like it, like anyone can watch it right if you're a casual viewer you can click on the video and enjoy it but still shows a lot of the depth shows a lot of the um a lot of kind of the 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 really like interesting kind of more in the weed stuff as well so it's just it's like trying to like filter the competitive content through a lens that anyone can understand it but the core of the content is still competitive and is still exciting you know or maybe i think the markiplier video did a good job of this where like for that one like i was making good plays i was playing bgc but i was maybe i was explaining things in a way that i was trying not to be like over explaining but like could keep you engaged keep you understanding what was going on because i think one of the big things keeping pokemon from being bigger is that it's hard to watch it and know what's going on you know what i'm saying like there's so much going on there's so many pokemon there's so many um there's so many uh moves items abilities etc cetera, etc cetera, that um it's it's um it's really really difficult to click on a video and understand what's going on and so i think finding ways of breaking down those barriers part of this that's part of the reason i did that big twitter thread about world as well is i really want to break down the barriers like people will like if people can understand pokemon i'm not worried that they're gonna like it i'm worried about them getting to the point where they can understand enough to like actually understand what's going on you know what i mean so yeah that's kind of the lens that my content is filtered through at the moment um i think it's interesting because like as I've gotten, I feel that my content has gotten more and more and more good for competitive Pokemon as a whole, the less centered it's become around competitive Pokemon. You know what I mean? I think the tweet comparing casting league and Pokemon was a copy pasta. I wouldn't read into it. I think it's just like a, it's just a meme. I don't think I, I am. I am very confident that, that the post, if it's the pro post that I saw, I think pretty much everyone was just memeing. Jaden video is now the most viewed non short on the channel. Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah, that's um definitely exciting. Definitely exciting. I feel, I don't know. I feel very great. I've had so many people help me like in my, in my journey. Like, honestly, like when, when I hit a million subs, I, I don't know exactly what I want to do to celebrate, but I, what I want to do, what I, the thing that I want to do for sure is I would like to post like a really long thread, just like thanking everybody. I'm not going to hit everybody, but thanking the people who've had such a, like I've had, I've been helped by so many people, um, over the course of my, you know, time doing this on YouTube. So I just, I feel very grateful for that. Um, and I'd like to say thank you. Um, I mean, I could do it now, but I feel like it's a nice way to comm commemorate 1 million speaking hard. Thanks very much, Edgen. I appreciate that. Um, out of context, would you like to do more Legends Arceus content? And if not, what did you think of it? I love Legends Arceus. 
it's hard for me personally to want to do content in a game with no battling or no, and no competitive stuff that's like really what i love about pokemon like listen legends Arceus was the first good pokemon game since black and white black and white too technically right the first first good pokemon game in 10 years like i love pokemon i'm not saying anything bad about pokemon but I, what i love about pokemon is how deep the actual game itself is like i don't think pokemon as a whole is very behind the industry standard when it comes to story graphics like difficulty if i picked up pokemon and i only played through the story and that was the end of it like i don't think i would still be playing it you know i probably would because like you know like it's it's um it's something i've always you know I've always done but it, i don't think i would i don't think i would really love it in the same way if it weren't for the competitive part of it right um legends Arceus was genuinely fun and it's part of the reason i'm so excited for gen 9 um but i you know like most games aren't like that i, I think i kind of got lost in my thought process but i think you get what i'm saying i thought sun and moon were pretty good i can no longer judge sun and moon objectively because ultra sun and ultra moon were my least favorite pokemon experience of all time truly i i will never play gen 7 again because ultra sun and ultra moon were so miserable that's my opinion you don't have to agree but that in my opinion and i think the reason i feel that way is because i'm a competitive player and in order to actually like play competitively you had to basically blitz through the game and because you needed the z crystals and the mega evolutions i think as well at some point i don't remember exactly the timeline at this point but like i remember ground dmz was like the last thing and it was all cutscenes, and it wasn't like the second time and it came out so shortly after and it was basically like the same game again so i the first time i played through sun and moon i loved them i was like this is so cool breath breath of fresh air um so like so different from like other pokemon games they're trying a lot of cool things and then the ultra sun ultra moon i was like if if i were not a competitive player this would be the last pokemon game i ever played because they are that bad Any hope for a Nuzlocke in the near future? No, not not in the near future. No, at some point probably. Hardcore Nuzlocke, Platinum Kaizo. That's when I'm coming back, baby. I'm in retirement till then. X Y gets too much hate. Ah, X and Y. I don't know. I have no feelings on X and Y. I don't love them. The next video. Well, we've had some issues just kind of with scheduling and stuff, but I have a video fully scripted, fully written, fully recorded on my end. Um, ranking the mainline Pokemon games. So, um, yeah. So that expect that in the next couple months. <laughs> Uh, I've been having some issues. Um, it's okay. Any hope for Gen 9 WB? I I'm done with draft leagues. I'm, I'm done with draft leagues. Unless PM7 brings me back into it, I'm done with draft leagues. Other than that, I'm out. I'm out of the game. Uh, Klabash, Klab Klab Klabashed? It depends on your goal um but if i the one time i brought two teams like a day one team and a day two team i got eliminated day one granted my day one team was very bad um so i and i don't regret that decision like i, I almost did it i was 5-0 and i needed to be seven i had i was 5-0 i had to go 2-2 and i went oh three um but, but i think that my day two team if i'd used it day one it was the kind of team where i wouldn't have been able to win the tournament so i took a gamble it didn't pay off but um for this year um, it depends on the player, to be honest. Yeah, I honestly, this kind of streaming, I, I really enjoy. I know it's like not like people's favorite thing to watch. Like I see the viewer count dropping gradually, but like this kind of stuff is, is nice for me. Like it reminds me of like the olden days back on the channel where I would just like turn the camera on and talk for like God knows how long. <laughs> Any chance we can get WBE content with the battles cut, just the intros. So, I mean, if I got big enough, I could start a second channel right if i got big enough i could start a second channel and just have it be like old uncut unedited wolf stuff right but i'm not at that point just yet you can't change teams mid-tournament except for day one worlds into day two worlds eternatus is good i mean it's not eternatus has some stuff going for it i should say 
I would like you to do a daily series. I don't do daily series at the moment. Um, the only daily stuff I'm doing is short form content. Think you'll ever host a host to com uh, competition again? I had so much fun playing your last one. I do think I will at some point. Yeah. Vlog channel. I can't vlog for anything. I'm no good at vlogging. I, I mean, I don't. I don't blame people. People came to watch the Magic Carp tournament. I don't. I don't. I'm not upset. Um. Mr. Fish ever return? Listen, Dracovish is, is still great. I love Dracovish. But uh it's yeah, I mean okay, if I'm gonna say if Dracovish is in Gen 9, like first first formats, it should be strong, right? Just based on how formats normally go. Now I don't think it will be. Fossil Pokemon don't normally, I think, make it into their region, the next like into a like uh most regions regional decks, but it's not impossible. How's the merch doing? I think I think pretty good. Um I don't think we're exactly where we want to be, but I think it's also like I put the merch plug in a video at like at the 15 minute, like really late into a video. And I think that probably affected it. So I'm hoping to do it sooner in future videos. Uh, Hisuian forms overall should be kind of lackluster. I think, were there any of them that actually looks good? I think the evolutions like Ursa Luna is going to be really strong for sure. But the other ones, like what are the other ones? What are they? Even Lilligan's not probably not good. It's so for me all like so someone says any interest in playing Pokemon randomizers um I think it's like a lot of my like kind of the stuff that I do isn't really stuff necessarily like I don't think what do I want to do I think what is good content you know what I mean at this point and I don't know why would anyone would want to watch me play like a randomizer at this point that's not fair I don't know why someone who isn't already who isn't already familiar with me is going to want to watch me someone they've never heard of or don't care about like play a randomizer is what I should say unless I can think of a fun twist challenge challenge videos in general just like i'm not super familiar with i'm just not like i'm not super comfortable with them zorak is good typing but its stats will probably be, its stats aren't phenomenal so it probably isn't going to do it the suian starters bad it's typhlosion it's like three of the worst starters ever right samurai typhlosion and deki dewey when does the tournament start we 23 minutes we're just in a we're on a little break oh enamorous is broken for sure did you play another mystery dungeon game if it came out for sure probably not on stream though i don't know i have a trouble with stream playthroughs oh let's see sorry i, I think i remember how to add in cool uh nope okay uh let's see edit calm I think exclamation point merch H Gudra. Yeah. I mean, Gudra's never bad per se. Like Gudra was okay and very early sword and shield, but it just struggles offensively. And especially without Dynamax, I don't have that much faith in it, but we'll have to see. I mean, Steel Dragon is awesome typing. So definitely maybe. Do you see any value in coaching streams? Um, not for me. You know what I mean? Like I'm sure a lot of people would really improve, but it's just like a lot of improvement in Pokemon is like, so I think fundamental streams are fine, right? Talking about, hey, here's the fundamentals of Pokemon. Let me walk you through that. That's that's something I think has a lot of value to people. Um, however, like having one person come on the stream and be like showing them like their mistakes and where they could improve. I'm not sure how applicable that is to like the general case once they're at the point where like I could actually be useful to them. I'm not sure. Um, I also don't think it would make good content because the type like what you have to understand is that like most people are like not interested in like the majority of my audience is not people who are actively going to vgc tournaments right like it's just a, it's just a numbers thing right and so when i think about my audience and what my audience wants to watch like 
I don't think them seeing me coach someone who like they don't know or are familiar with is going to be super good content is my is much my impression more streams in the near future not August probably not September some in September October will ramp it up and then the rest of October will will ramp it down then November games come out and then I'm big streaming so basically November December January probably February I'm going to be Omega Turbo streaming um I'm really interested in fan games personally reverb reverb requiem thank you for the 18 months wolf e coaching fate was fun yeah we're coaching friends is different how's it going aaron i would love to see some you and aaron crossover content yeah for sure yeah, yeah i'm always down i mean yeah i'm not sure which aaron you're talking about but both aarons i'm super like I, it's much i really enjoy making content with my friends it's a lot more fun have you considered a Patreon for monthly subs instead of Twitch since you don't stream much? Uh, like, I wouldn't want to do Patreon unless I was, like, providing a service. You know what I mean? And, like, I don't really... I think that my time is better spent focusing on my side projects right now um, than... Yeah, than, than doing things for, like, the... Because my goal is not really to make dollars right now. My goal is to, like, ma like reach new audiences. Does that make sense? If I wanted to make dollars, then yeah, maybe I could do like a Patreon. Like, I mean, I, could, I would do a lot more on Medify if I wanted to make dollars because that's like a good use of my time. But um, right now, my goal is to like really, um, really get to reach new audiences. So that's kind of the 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 um, the angle that I'm taking. I don't think that they can balance Pokemon. To, it's not even going to happen. They're never going to do a patch system in Pokemon. It's not it's not even worth thinking about. Have you gone for rank one on showdown? I can get rank one on showdown whenever I want, to be honest. It's not like, it's not, I shouldn't say it's not difficult, but it's like, I can do, I can do, it doesn't mean anything to me. I can do it whenever I want. And, what? Oh, I spilled. Um, the reason is because the games go so quickly. So you can just like, you just need one hot streak, basically. Once you get like, and yeah, I mean like, yeah, it's not hard at all. For, for sorry for me it's it's a big accomplishment in general i've been playing showdown for so long and i'm uh yeah like sorry no getting one on, rank one on showdown is difficult in general for whatever reason for me it's not hard i don't know why because it's also best of one ladder which is a, different than like official tournament stuff and you can stop and take breaks whenever you want Sorry, that's probably sounded really arrogant. It's not, I'm not like trying to flex or anything. Like that's not my, I promise you that's not my intention. Like, I don't know. You just, if you play a bunch, you just have to play, it's just a quantity thing. How about that? How about I'll say it like that? It's just, if you play a lot of games, if you get an account to like 17, 1800, like it's, you can do it pretty quickly from there. And it's like, like, yeah, I don't know. It's not, it's just a, it's just a, 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 a time thing. What's your team for the tournament? Uh, Magikarp, Dragapult, Dracozolt, Porygon 2, excuse me, Porygon 2, um, Ferrothorn, and Azumarill. I like Azu Hisui and Quillfish way more, personally. Personally. Uh, Rico Re Storm. What you can do is when you want, when you're making a team in Showdown, what you want to do is you want to go to the top where it says format. You want to put in VGC 2022 and then you can click like validate. Um, you can also look at, I, I, I use Cerebi to check move sets like personally, just cause I've been doing that for ages. Um, so I also recommend like, if you're like, what move should I get my Pokemon? I just go to Cerebi to fight, to see what they can learn. Cause that's always up to date and accurate. Are you cool with people you don't know saying hi to you at tournaments? A hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. I love meeting people at tournaments. Um, I will say just like sometimes like all, I guess what I will say is all I ask is that sometimes it's like not a great time because I'm like you know going somewhere or I'm going to a match or maybe I, like after I lose I do like to take kind of like a couple minutes to myself just kind of reflect on what went wrong and what I could do better so whenever that will happen I'll be like let's say like I've just had like a big uh like let's say I just got eliminated from the tournament and I don't really want to take a picture right away if someone's like hey man can you take a picture I'll be like hey I'm super sorry I'm gonna take a little bit like five minutes to myself um please come find me later um or like or i'll be like if like i'll be like i'll meet you back here in like five ten minutes or whatever so 
um as long as people understand that if i like that i'm i'm i you know sometimes will kind of ask for some space for myself then no problem at all um yeah because like yeah, otherwise and, and that's pretty rare like it's probably out of like if i have 100 interactions a tournament that probably happens like three times um which i think is relatively small so but i don't know it's interesting it's, it's kind of interesting like so i mean as long as we're just chilling um how do i say it like basically like i don't really have a role model for how to model my behavior within like like basically at the moment i'm like i've more or less become like the main like the biggest i'm the biggest person in the vgc community when it comes to like hardcore actual vgc community stuff and so like all the stuff of like how do i act how do i like interact with people like what is like uh like when is it appropriate to take time for myself versus like when is it appropriate like when is when should i be like kind of pushing myself right i don't have any model for that right like uh because it's it's just me so i don't have anyone who i can be like oh like that's how that person does it that's how i want to do it you know what i mean it's not a problem but um it does mean that I don't always have the context, right? Or I don't, I don't have a lot of like, um, alternate perspectives. Um, and I never hear any negative feedback, so I assume I'm doing fine, but, um, yeah, but I, it's like, sometimes I'm like, could I be doing better? Am I doing like, am I making mistakes? You know what I mean? I don't know. Just something I think about. Yeah, I feel you, Pengi. But at the same time, it's like, for me, like, okay, like, again, let's let's make up a number. Let's say I have 100 interactions at a tournament. Like, for me, like, I'll be like, okay, like, I'm having an interaction. Like, I, I want to do a good job. But for that person, like, let's say someone's, like, excited to meet me for whatever reason. Like, then, like, I would hate, I would hate for someone to have a negative, like, to be excited to meet me and then have a negative interaction. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like, because it's, the scale is much bigger, like, um, for them, like, going one way, one direction than the other. So, like, I would most of the time want to like push myself as long as I could. Um, as long as I thought it like, yeah, I could do okay with it. But because, you know, like what if like, you know, like, let's say like I've just had, let's say it's got eliminated from the tournament and I like, I'd like some space to myself and someone asked me for a picture and I'm like, hey, I'm so sorry. Can we do like five or like, can you come back in like five or 10 minutes? Like maybe that person, like, I don't know, had trouble like approaching me in the first place. Like maybe they were anxious or they were nervous or for whatever reason, like, um, or like maybe they can't find me again. And then like they have regret about the interaction in the future. Right. Um, I don't know it's just like i feel like it's in my position i should try and do what i can when i can but it's like ha like it's hard to know when i'm like really like pushing it too far versus when it's just like a little uncomfortable you know what i mean i don't know i'm just that, i'm just thinking aloud it's not something that like normally is a problem so it should be fine when you go back to playing tonight uh i'm 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 on forced break the la like the games open up again in 13 minutes so i just um in 13 minutes i'll be able to play again i'm not taking this break by choice yeah i don't want any negative yelp reviews yeah i'm definitely grateful for aaron i mean especially because you know aaron like it's not entirely fair to say that i haven't had a, a role model because aaron like was the face for a very long time um and in many ways still is and so i, I definitely am I, I definitely am being recency biased here where you know um things have things are different now than they used to be but aaron definitely laid the groundwork for like um the the context for me that's definitely fair to say are you competing in worlds this year yep i am Won't have time to think about your losses if you always win. Yeah, <laughs> except that's not really Pokemon's not that kind of game, unfortunately. Um, do you think Urshifu is the goat? No, it's not even. It's not even. It, yeah, no, I don't think so. Do you know if Aaron is going to be commentating or playing at Worlds? Aaron Zeng was not asked to commentate, which. I'm not going to really comment on. Yeah, I would love to know the reasoning. I'm I am sure that there was thought put into the decision, but from an outside perspective, not having any of the context, I am extraordinarily dumbfounded at that decision. Um. So. Yeah, I don't want to be critical because I don't know the context, but i am very surprised um and he did not qualify because he was commentating a lot of events this season so uh <laughs> as i believe the children are saying that is very sus how 
How could you think Alakazam is? Uh, garbage. Terrible. I think Aaron is the greatest commentator of all time. I mean, there's it's it's there's a lot of people you can make the case for. There's really we have we have very good commentators. We're very lucky for that. But in my opinion, Aaron Singh is the goat. That's my opinion. So to not have him, yeah, kind of cringe. But I don't know. Maybe I don't. I don't know. It's it's hard. I, I don't want to be someone who criticizes decisions without understanding like them. Like I'm only seeing one angle. But my angle, uh, yeah. Well, whatever. It's yeah. I, I don't agree personally. I don't care what I don't care what why the reason was. I don't I don't agree with it. I believe he's still going to be doing something there. Maybe I don't know. I have no idea actually. What's the record for most win at Worlds and best win percentage? I mean, Ray's got them both, surely. Ray was undefeated at Worlds 2012. Went 6-0 in Swiss and 3-0 in Top Cut. But I don't, I'm not super familiar with like the actual win-loss record of everyone else. I know that for me, I, wa I went 5-0 or 6-0 day one. I forget how many rounds it was. I went XO day one. I think it was 6-0. And then day two, I was 6-1. Lost one round in Swiss. And then Top Cut, I won all the games, like obviously, but... Um, all my top cut games, I won 2-0. I didn't drop a game in top cut, not even a set, but a game. Ah, uh, yeah, that's very kind of you, but I'm not. Compared to the, our actual commentators, I'm not very good. I think that I bring things to commentary, like I think I'm entertaining, um, but commentary is actually incredibly difficult, much more so than I realized. So, um, yeah. You should do a vid on race 2013 Torkoal. <laughs> that Torkoal, yeah, maybe. Do you think modern worlds or past gen worlds are harder? I think they both have unique challenges. Um, like modern worlds are more difficult in the sense that like the um, overall player base is stronger and the format is in some, you have to win more games, I guess, but it's also more forgiving in that like in old worlds, if you lost two games, you probably weren't top cutting. You know what I mean? In Swiss. So yeah, I think that like, and also like the fact that the player base is overall stronger, like is some sometimes like for certain formats for certain metas can mean that it's like actually easier because a stronger player base picks better teams and like especially in a more standardized like uh format like you might have random bad like in, in old worlds you might run into a random bad matchup um and like you would never prepare for something like that because like the like it, there was a lot more variance in the teams you could play play against which could make it more difficult as well and the fact that you couldn't lose more than one game was also kind of brutal so I think it's kind of like a comparing apples to oranges thing because the format is so different. The player base is so different. The game itself is so different. Our overall understanding is so different, but they were both. I think I, I believe personally that I have a higher chance of winning worlds in a modern format than in the old format, if that gives you any insight. Also qualifying for worlds was like, it's not even close. It used to be impossible and now it's like not 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 so bad like if you really want to qualify and you have the resources like you can probably qualify assuming local events i mean local events are so broken right now i hope that they fix them personally they're like the overall the circuit just needs a lot of restructuring i think but i don't think we're gonna do that so we'll see don't you fear that focusing so much on bringing new people will make your current slash old audience go away um yeah, I I think maybe, but I think that as long as I as long as I my goal is to make good videos. Like that's the that's the first and foremost that's that's the goal. I want to make videos that are good, that I believe are good, and I'm the most competitive player of them all realistically. So if I think they're good and I think they're enjoyable and I, I enjoy watching them, then I'm not too worried about alienating my older audience. Um, ideally in a perfect world, also like there'd be different places people could go to for different things. Like obviously the scripted content is a bit different than me just turning on the camera and rambling for two hours, but um yeah my, my hope is, my hope is that like for example those people could go to stream or like the goal is to have a better mix of content like some video essay stuff some like kind of edited down live stream stuff so to, like keep more things so i i can't claim that i've got the balance perfectly right but um yeah i think that like that's the goal at least it's two three four thanks very much almost two years thank you thank you Oh, six minutes until game start up again. I should have got food. That was a mistake. Oh, I made a big mistake. I'm an inter. 
All right, now I know Magic Card Space Stats, and I know the Dive is special. I just got the thumbnail for the video. My thumbnail designer is super talented. I'm a big fan of them. You plan on doing a soul link? Not in the near future. Yeah, Leafeon, I, I agree. I agree. That, I, I'm really proud to have that. That The Markiplier video was kind of my tester for how I wanted to do content with Scarlet and Violet, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. What are your Magikarp CVs? I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. I don't know. I asked Trey for a spread. He gave me a spread and then I just never checked and I assumed it was fine and I, it has been fine. Yeah, I think Yon and I will do a soul link at some point. I'm, I, I'm, it's not a question of do I want to do a soul link with Yon because the answer is yes. The question is when because I have Worlds. August is all gone for Worlds. The rest of July is all gone for Worlds. September, I'm going to be wrapping up work on Untamed Isles and October, I'm going to be playing Untamed Isles and then November scarlet and violet come out and then november december january february realistically is all on uh, all scarlet and violet no i don't think so finithy i was naic i had a really nice time yeah it was just a really it was just really fun For most of my tournaments, I try to do all my mons myself. Like occasionally I'll like need help. Like for example, um, I took Reg Drago like an idiot because I thought Reg Drago was better in my game. So I had to borrow, I borrowed um, Luz, Reggie Lucky, because she just happened to have a zero IV one. Like the one she caught just was randomly zero attack IV, which was nice. Um, But yeah, like when I can, when I can get them myself, if they're in my game, like I just do it myself because yeah, I just safer that way. Have you set your heart in a starter for Scarlet and Violet? No, I haven't. I haven't decided. I normally take the fire one, but it depends on the design. You should eat in your magic card between sessions. Folks, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna be I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I miss fish so much. I think about eating salmon like daily, but I'm vegetarian, so I ah! So I don't, but I like think about it on the reg. I'm like always thinking about salmon. Like, right. I would, I would, I would be, oh my God. My stomach just started growling. I, I love salmon. I miss it so much. What's Untamed Dials? So I've been working with an indie game studio. They basically brought me in to like design their combat system. Like basically the battle part of Pokemon. It's, it's a, the genre is a mix between like monster catching. So think like Pokemon, but also mixed with an MMO. Um, so like think like World of Warcraft style stuff. So it's really social. Um, I am really happy with where it's, where it's at. Um, I think pre-sales going up somewhat soon, so I'll keep y'all posted. Um, it was very ambitious, but so it's ended up taking a lot longer than expected, but, um, yeah, I, I am very excited for it to release and I'm, I'm really, I think, and they're, they're very serious about the competitive scene of the game as well. So there's a lot of cool opportunities there. So um yeah it's kind of similar to temtem i guess same same kind of it's i don't know if it's the same genre overall but yeah like that's a, that's a good heuristic for sure um but yeah i'm super excited for it as well so um yeah that should be coming out i think the release date is sometime in october at the moment how long have you been vegetarian um since august 2015 so coming up on seven years i don't know how math works i've never been to a conveyor belt sushi place but i want to i really want to Name of the game is Untamed Isles. U-N-T-A-M-E-D space I-S-L-E-S. -E Let me in. Please still have a minute. It's not going to let me in. I am not pescatarian, though. I kind of wish I was sometimes. Do you think competitive Pokemon would be more balanced or better if IVs weren't a thing? I don't think it would be more balanced per se. I think it would lower a barrier to entry, but um, beyond that, I don't, I don't know. Um, I, I like IVs personally. I think you can do some really neat stuff. I think they, I think they're good at like eliminating speed ties, for example. 
because like I, I, don't, I don't know i think i think they're really i don't know i think they're interesting i like doing i like doing weird speed stats speed ivy stuff with like trick room i think stuff like that is really interesting and adds layer of depth to the game but is the is the cost worth it that's a good question and it, honestly the cost might not be worth it like because it's really hard for it's an, it's just an additional barrier for for casual players to get into it and like for competitive players everything is like perfect ivy like or close to it like anyway most of the time um and it's just a time sink so yeah like although i like i like speed ivies in particular um but other than that i, I like i would i would be okay getting rid of speed ivies to get rid of ivies in general i think gen 9 is my most hyped gen for sure all right, we're playing again, baby. Oh, wow, that's a pretty high ranking. Okay, back to Magikarp land. Oh, this is difficult. Last time I did Dragozolt, I lost to the P2, so I'm not sure I want to do that again. That being said, I don't know what better options I have, to be completely honest with you. Like, I don't really feel like I have great options into Porygon 2 on this team in general. Um, just because there's so much damage. So I could do a Zoomerill, but I, I honestly might get KO'd by Max Lightning. Uh, Porygon 2 is doing big damage to my Dragozolt. I don't think I could take one. Uh, I could do my own Porygon 2, who looks okay here. I don't think Porygon 2 is horrible here by any means. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I, I could do it. I haven't really brought it very much. Is it okay here? Like, if I believe that it can be... That it can beat Dragapult. How slow is it? 80 speed? It should be... Okay. Um, I don't hate it. it I feel like it's this or Drake's ult. Uh, uh, I don't know what Lapras want to do in this game, to be honest. What is Whimsicott doing? Oh, we're almost out of time. I'm not sure this was correct, to be honest, but we'll give it a shot. So I don't really know what the worst case scenario is here. Parish or Resonance? Yeah. This was my impression as well. Yeah. So I don't know if it's Parish or Resonance. Porygon 2 should give me an edge, I think. I guess you always get a special attack boost because of Magikarp, right? More or less. Unless they're really specially bulky. Okay. So my thought here is basically this might be Parish Song. Does Thunder hit bounce or does it only... Is it, hey, does anyone know if Thunder hits bounce or is it only fly? Anyone know? I bet it hits. That seems like it should work that way, right? If they're really taking their time. I don't know. I don't know about this one. They're really taking their time. They're probably just thinking, but please don't take too much time because you're making me nervous. Ooh! Okay, I made the wrong play, bull oh, folks. Uh, I think I made the wrong play. I fear I may have. I fear I may have erred. I fear I may have maintained an error in my ways. I fear that perhaps a mistake has been made. Thunder still seventy percent accuracy against bounce. Yeah, but I got the world champ difference, baby. Did a ton of damage. What the? Sheer cold. Wait, sheer cold would actually be really good here, wouldn't it? Porygon two, you are a griefer. You are Porygon two. Explain yourself. How much do you think Max Lightning does? I bet it does a ton. I'm molding. All right, I'm going strike into lightning into lightning, I guess. And praying that it KOs. It should be fine, maybe. Like, I, I figure it's weakness policy, right? It's got to be weakness policy, right? On the Labras. I'm plus one. I got max strike, stab, hyper beam. What is that? 150, 220 versus I could have done like 280. Yeah, okay. I couldn't have done stronger. 
Oh wait, no, 220. Oh yeah, 220. 225 versus 280. Bop. Interesting that they're hydro pumping here. I get to bring a sash, which is nice. Okay, I'm faster, so I could I could just lightning here, I guess, in hindsight. Did a lot of damage. I'm um, actually big chilling, I think. I don't think they're going to be able to beat P2 at this point. Resonance comes out. Oh, they could be water absorb. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. They only have one turn of max left, though. I feel like I'm big chilling, no? Y'all think I'm big chilling? They got rid of my magic carp, but I should be okay. They could be scarf, I guess, since they've hydro pumped twice now at this point. Let me see. So that did... 70% or 40%, which means it does 80%, which means Max Lightning would one shot, but they have Aurora Veil up. So if I think Max Strike is 225 base power, making it about 25% stronger than Max or weaker than Max Lightning, but then terrain boosted. I'm just gonna press the button. This could definitely backfire if they if they um the wrong move but i think they might be choice magic carp based on the fact that they hydro pump twice missing that first thunder has really cost me big time here though yeah i'm 12 3 but we yeah i need to get rid of this to like yeah the thing is geyser is most likely their strongest move they have uh they're probably water ice electric right so i think i'm in okay shape because i don't think they have protect they probably are, are they're probably geyser resonance they're probably hydro pump blizzard thunder which means they either hit me with a weak move here or they give me rain okay they hit me with a weak move yeah okay doesn't do that much and i'm pretty sure plus one max lightning and electric train won't ko the lapras from here honestly it could i, I wouldn't be shocked right let's find out it, uh, with that much left, it actually might. This is plus one L electric train boosted max lightning. I think it might KO, and I'm speed and faster. Regardless, it's going to be pretty hard for them to win because they can't even hit me with sheer cold right now. Okay, I played this really well. I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud of that win. I mean, I had a, I had a big advantage with P2 there for sure. All right, 13 and three. But the opponents at this point are looking pretty strong, I think, because we just got a reset. Like the day just reset. So pretty much everyone I play against is probably gonna be pretty strong. Yeah. Be high ranked. Oh God, what is this? Uh, Pause Champ, uh, Smoke Champ, uh, Monkus Thonk. Um, this actually isn't that bad, I think. Cause you know, you know why? I'll tell you why it's not that bad. Cause I got Magic Card, baby. Honey Day Magic Carp. Oh, they locked in. Um, I guess I just do this guy. I'm really liking Drake's ult. Like the more I use it, the more I feel like it's strong. I really like the thumbnail for the Magic Carp <laughs> for the Magic Carp uh, video. <laughs> Magic Carp Conkledong. Okay. Not entirely sure what this is going to be. It could be weakness policy. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. Weakness policy Conkledur with side bounce Magikarp and its guts. So you get the para. So here's the deal. Turn one, max guard, bounce. Okay, no counterplay. Turn two, side bounce, weakness policy, paralyze. That's three times attack. GG. What am I doing? Extra support wind. That's the play. Trust. Trust. I wonder what Conkleder does here other than beat Porygon 2. That's my question. Like, because I haven't really... I had never played against one in testing. 
tier force makes more sense but tier force doesn't activate on max moves and most of this you're gonna be in max force so i think it's, it's gotta be guts right it's probably flame orb yeah my guess is it's flame orb maybe it's like max guard bounce turn one and just try and smack me with super strong moves but i think that the trades are my favorite because i have speed advantage and i have max worm wind pressure probably max guard rate i could have called it but i thought it was gonna be bounce anyway so i didn't and i, I didn't really have a reason to oh there's a ton of damage it should be flame orb yeah i could have predicted it but if i was wrong i could have lost right and the thing is that yeah mag yeah like basically like there was high reward but it was high risk right and there was no reason for me to take that risk imagine they just like max knuckle me and um bounce and then i just lose because <laughs> i made a like really aggressive play for no reason so even though it didn't work i, I would do the same thing again even if this were like a two out of three i'd always make this play turn one. Oh, big damage you know that's not an insignificant damage that's actually not bad at all drop the attack stat do a ton of damage i wonder why they're clicking tackle though that's my question Knuckle, okay, attack boost. Into Drago's. Oh, hang on a second. Is that a crit? Okay, that's a crit. Is there any chance I'm in mock punch range at this point? Because I feel like I might be in mock punch range. Thanks to that crit. Ah, oh, that's really bad. Because that was through. Wait, that was through minus one. Oh, that's such a bad crit. Okay, I, I know I just said I wouldn't do this, but because I think I'm in mock punch range now, I'm gonna do it. They boomed me. They they boomed me. They totally boomed me. Oh my god. This is why you don't do this. This is why you should never do what I just did. And I missed. Oh my They actually boomed me. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I, I threw this. And it's oh my they I had free win and I threw. Yeah, but I mean, they could max guard and then mock punch. That's what I was worried about. Oh, they can knuckle me too. Magic Arp hit Magic Arp. Okay, if they're not, if they're not mock punch, I may have a chance here. Maybe. Okay, is there any chance that they, that Hydro Pump plus, is there any chance at all that Hydro Pump? Okay, if they're, also, I think I just died a flail actually. I think I'm pretty sure. Wait, what do they have detect? What, what are they running? I can't, I can't believe I missed that hydro pump. It's the wrong one. You know what? That was my bad. I should have, I don't know why I hydro pump there. That was super dumb, actually. I don't think I take a, I don't think I take a flail. Oh no. I can't believe I, I threw. Okay. Hit, 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 hit. Okay. Please, magic carp. One time. Please, KO. I threw. This was so winnable. I I literally threw. I literally I had so many ways to win. And I threw all of them. They didn't even have mock punch after all that. Probably. Ah, oh, that was a really bad play. That was so bad. That was such a bad play. Okay, well that's my bad. I made. You know what's messed up is if all I had to do was not hydro. I just had to click flail instead of hydro pump. I just auto piloted. Ah, oh, that was so stupid of me. I made I made so many mistakes that game. It's crazy. It was a four-turn game, and I made a mistake every turn. Well, no, I don't think the first one was a mistake, even though it didn't go in my favor. But And I guess turn two, I didn't make a mistake either. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, I got to win out from here. Oh, that's really bad. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. We're chilling. I have the skill. I just need to focus. Hmm. It's a high-ranked opponent. I wonder why Rillaboom's so popular. Machamp? Okay, this could be a run back. I'm bringing a zoom roll, baby. Okay, it's fine. Okay, it's fine. My team is solid. My heart is solid. My skill is solid. I just need to not make mistakes. Pick that one. I can still get to like 1700, I think. I can probably get like 70. Rillaboom G Mix kills Azu? They're not going to bring Rillaboom. They'd never bring Rillaboom into me. They don't have the guts. They don't got the guts. I'm waiting for them to lock in so I can lock in my Azu safely. I can bring P2. I can bring P3. I'm not bringing Ferrothorn at all, am I? 
I don't think Drag Drago's Dragapult is that bad. Yeah, I really think G Max ignores the Sap Sipper though. So can't do that. They're really taking their time. Bonk. <laughs> You'll never get me. Yeah, Draco's ult, Draco's ult by far my best one here. Watch out for a champ. It's Kong with twice as many arms. <laughs> All right, let's give this a shot. I'm not messing around. Okay, Cradily Magic Heart. Okay. I think that, I think I have a way of winning this. Pretty sure I have a way of winning. So I think my turn one play is Flail into Magikarp and Max Quake into Magikarp because this eliminates the Storm Drain threat and gives me a special defense boost to cancel out the special attack boost. Because they never bounce with this team. It's almost always Scarf Magikarp as well, but it's not like I have anything better to do with um, my own Magikarp and cover it. Because with Colossal, yeah, like they'd probably want to be Scarf. And even if they bounce, it's just the same as me quaking, right? Because they don't get the boost. Magic does not learn Surf. It will be Hydro Pump. You can't miss Hydro Pump on Storm Drain, y'all. I'm like 99.9% .9 certain. That's a cool little eyepiece. I didn't know they had that in this game. Maybe I knew and then forgot. Big Cradilly. Okay, Hydro Pump, plus one. Don't want to see some big damage. Behold. Flail at full HP from Magic Arp. Did a lot. That did like at least two damage, if not three. It's way more than I expected. Sorry, Magikarp. I'm not exactly sure my Drago's ult calcs, but I think I should be okay. Maybe. Because I'm plus one special defense. <laughs> Big damage. I guess if I get crit, I could be in trouble because it will ignore my special defense boost, but nothing to do about that. Oh, it's life orb. Yeah, I was wondering why I did so much. I was like, that did a lot of damage. Okay, that makes more sense. And then I'll bounce because I got nothing else to do. And a Wormwind. My strongest move. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to hit Hustle here. Which could be bad, potentially. Okay, they max guarded. I may have to hit multiple Hustle moves here, which is pretty bad. Though, yeah. It's not good, is it? Because they have Recover too, right? It's EP, Ancient Power, Giga Drain, or Meteor maybe. Okay, let's give it a shot, I guess. How much do you think this does? 40? It'll do 40, right? Yeah, I may be in trouble, actually. But I have Parachance as well, which is nice. Doon Long, thanks for the Prime. Really appreciate that. Come on, Drake Azolt. You're going to have to hit your first Hustle move all day. Oh, if it was Keyberry, that'd be bad for me, for sure. Para? Any Paras? No. This will be 40. Trust. It'll be 40. Trust. Yeah, 40. Attack drop doesn't matter. I guess I could have just gone for Max Dragon in the first place, but I was worried about it starting to get, get really out of hand. Now, I would have died if I just went for Max Dragon right away, because I wouldn't have been able to do 50%, right? Yeah, and I didn't know it was Life Orb either. Life Orb's been a big role here. All right, chat. <laughs> Hustle makes my attack 80% accurate, which means 20% uh, of the time I am going to lose this 1v1, despite Drake's ult being my Cradily counter. Oh, it doesn't even let me select? Moment of truth. Here it comes. 
Well, okay. But magic harvest bounce first. Come on, Draco's ult. 80% of the time works every time. Nice. Good job, buddy. You're so cracked. Let's go. Okay, nice job, Draco's ult. Ooh, it was a little bit scary. Maybe I should have brought P2 here. But P2 doesn't beat Colossal, right? Ooh, that was kind of scary. <laughs> Does P2 beat Colossal? Probably not, right? All right, so what are we now? X and four? 14 and four? 1630. I would like to get to 1700, which means winning seven more. 1608. Jeez. Okay, this is a similar team to the one we just fought, except it has nine tails over what's it called? Um, over Cradilly and Ferrothorn over. Yeah. So I mean, I kind of felt like P2 could be okay last round, but I'm not sure if it is into Colossal. I have Dragapult, which is decent here. It's not amazing into Chansey, but I should be able to like max dragon to drop the defense stat of the um Magikarp and then go from there maybe not terrible this is a really good player okay so I should assume they're gonna do something smart in that case hmm I don't like that if I assume they're gonna do something smart maybe I should take a zoom rule I don't think they bring Colossal into me, right? There's no way. Um, when in doubt, I just do Drake's ult, I guess. Yeah, why not? Oh, reliable. Would you say Cradilly is good? In this specific format, I think it's good, yeah. It's not unbeatable, but I think in this format, it's good. Gastrodune, okay. I think I'm gonna have to hustle, hustle move here. I think I'm gonna do the same thing I just did, except. Should I do the same thing again? Should I just start smacking the Gastrodon? on? I think I should just do this again. Magikarp is so funny. <laughs> oh, the view, the, the players in the chat. Uh oh, I like have fun. I guess you can't hear me because turn the stream off. I don't know my calcs. Ah, uh, I think I might have made a mistake here. Actually, I think I made a mistake. I think I messed up. I think I might have made a mistake here. <laughs> Because Cradilly isn't ground type, so I was assuming it would do similar comparable damage since it's like, yeah, both relatively probably like low base special attack stats, but Gashadon is actually a ground type, so Max Quake is a bit stronger as it turns out. I'm going to need, in order to win this, I'm going to need to hit a, uh, I'm going to need to hit a, um, hustle attack for sure, I think. I'm pretty sure at least. Hey, break up potential focus sash. Okay. Magikarp goes down, which is nice, but uh, I haven't dealt with the actual threat yet, which is Gashadon. So let's see. This is going to be tricky from here. We have a special boost. They have a special attack. Uh, we both have both boosted, so it cancels out. Quake goes into Drago's ult. It's not to 50%. That's a big deal. That's a pretty major deal. Because what that means is that um, they can't two-shot me, which is a big deal. And their special bulk, their special boost doesn't help. So I go for bounce here. And I just start max dragoning. I think I don't think I think I just try and get as much damage as I can down on this thing and then pray that uh Wormwind kills. Or the, pray that I hit an outrage. But I don't think I had a better move there. I don't think I was supposed to quake anything else. I think that's the correct play. It just is it's unfortunate because it comes down to hustle accuracy in the end. But because their Magikarp went down first, I think that if my Magikarp is still alive, I think that my Drake will be more motivated to connect the attack. That's my that's my hunch. That's my theory. That's my theoretical assumption. Hey, no protect. They're, they're gonna have they gotta have max guard, right? They're probably just waiting until the next turn to see how much this does. They can even set hail if they wanted, it wouldn't be a terrible idea. 
This should do half, right? Surely it does half. Just under, okay. So, I mean, the good news is that I'll definitely KO them with one more plus bounce. The bad news is that they can just max guard and make it down to uh, Outrage again. Barely hung on. But I don't think I was supposed to quake there. I think I, think I made the right move. If I quaked, I would have lost. If I quaked, then they would have just... um, Yeah, they would have just KO'd me. Alrighty. Here we go. If they don't have max guard, I'm probably big chilling. If they do have max guard, I am not chilling at all. The thing is that I'm not even guaranteed to kill with this at the moment. Like, it'll be close with bounce. Basically, their, their bet is they can gamble on the accuracy of bounce now or on the accuracy of hustle next turn. And it depends on if they have recover or not. If they don't have max guard, okay, they have max guard. Okay, that is not ideal at all. All right, Drake is old. <laughs> Buddy, come on. <laughs> Remember that last game? Just do that exact thing again. I hate, I hate having it come down to accuracy like this. I should have brought P2. I don't know what I was doing. I should have brought P2. I'm sorry, P2. You should have, you should have come to this one. All right, bounce. Drake is old. Buddy, we've been through a lot together. I need you to connect this outrage. It would be outrageous for you to connect this outrage. It'd be so cool. It'd be so cool, buddy. Come on. Okay, magic cover uses bounce. 80%, 80%, 80%. Come on. Come on, Drake is old. You got me. If nobody else got me, I know Drake is old got me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, that was a close one. That was a close one. Woo. Woo, sheesh. Okay. That's because I took out their magic arp first. That's how my Drake Assault knew that I was a good trainer and he should hit his moves. They hate that. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't like I don't like letting it come down into hustle accuracy. Alright, top 50. Number 45. Let's keep it up. So we're now 15 and four. Ah, not a turn to this. Oh, that was incredible timing for me. What a save. What a recovery. Oh, Japanese player. Okay. Uh, these are some Pokemon I haven't fought against before. So we have, of course. Ugh, yuck. Um, <laughs> if I bring Magikarp, can I beat Colossal? Probably not, right? <laughs> But can I? Um, Ferrothorn's not bad here into... I don't know what the Mence is doing is the issue. This could be a Ferrothorn game. Like, I don't know if they're going to bring Colossal into this. Ferrothorn beats Wigglytuff. It beats... Um, Gastrodon, probably. Maybe. I'm not actually sure that it does beat Gastrodon, to be honest. Um, it's got it. Gastrodon, right? Uh, I don't know if I like Ferrothorn here. Azu doesn't work against their Gastrodon. Like, if they bring Gastrodon, I just lose regardless, basically. Is that true, actually? Yeah, it is. I have no idea what to do here. Well, I need Magikarp, and then... Dragazult's not good into Kingdra, but might be... Sal uh, probably not into Kingdra. I don't really love any of my options here. Let's give it a shot. This is our first Ferrothorn game. Ferrothorn, I didn't intend to bring you a lot. Please don't fail me, buddy. Please, I'm begging you. Colossal. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I can still win this. Um, how? How champ? Okay. I can win this. I go Max Geyser. They miss their Hydro Pump. And then I one-shot Colossal. This is the plan. I am very smart. Oh, I could have just let Drake's ult. It was such a free Drake's ult game and I got in my head. Uh, okay, we can win this. However, it would be extraordinarily difficult. Also, I should have body pressed there if I was going to do this. Because I do not think Max Geyser KOs Max Colossal at all. Come on, buddy. Come on, you magic cop. Come on, you buddy. Come on, pal. What is Magic Harp? I can't believe they brought Colossal to this. That's crazy. Ah, man. I don't want to see this Colossal with Max, even with this one. How much does Max 
Magikarp due to Colossal. What do, what do I think here? Wait, I have base 15 special attack? This mod is so bad. How much does this do? Oh no, it does not do anything. Oh no, -y. oh my God. If, if they get their attack off first and they hit, okay, I need to dodge. I need a dodger. Oh, oh, wait, it's, it's winnable. It's winnable. I should have body pressed. I'm so dumb. Ah, if I just body pressed, I would have, I could have maybe won. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. I can still win this. Ah, <laughs> oh, if I just, if I just body pressed, it was winnable. It was actually winnable. Why did I leech seed? Vocalith, Vocalith, Vocalith. Oh no. I think I should live this, but it, I should live this. Oh, I don't live that actually is what I think. I can't win this anymore, unfortunately. Okay, it didn't matter what I clicked. There was no way for me to win this. I literally had no options here. I, my option was like, pray that they miss and then max Ferrothorn and then lose anyway. Let's just do this again. Oh man, I know Magikarp does not solo here. With a critical hit, I, just, I think I'm pretty sure I still go down to Vocalith here. Oh, I can't believe I lost this. I can't believe they brought Colossal into me. I should I get into much credit. That's my bad. Uh, and I just get Hydro Pump. Oh no. All right, that's my bad. Oh, what a, what a way to lose. All right, I shouldn't. Okay, I'm not bringing Ferrothorn. That was not good. Ah, oh, I can't believe that. That's unfortunate. Yeah, okay. It's okay. I shouldn't have brought Ferrothorn there. I didn't, I really didn't think they'd bring, I think trying to predict what your opponent's going to bring is a mistake in this. I think it's like pretty much, because the thought process of, of how people choose their Pokemon probably varies so much in a format like this. What am I, 15-5? Unfortunate. 16-27. Okay, this is a high-ranked opponent. Man, this is a hard format. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, they got double Draco and Cinderachi and Metagross. Um, like, I kind of want to do Draco's ult here, but I'm not sure it's actually any good. You know what I mean? P2 is a nah, P2 is not good here. There's too many rock types. Ronk. Ronk types. Dragozolt's not bad here. I mean, Dragozolt's pretty good here. It's just like in the mirror match, it's just like not a good matchup. But I don't know if they'd bring Dragozolt, but I think I'm just going to bring Dragapult here. Oh, and I couldn't bring a Zoom Roll. They hit Dragozolt. Like, if I was going to bring a Zoom Roll, I would have just rather brought. You know what I mean? What is that? Cradilly. I think I keep giving people too many credit, too much credit. I could have just brought Dragozolt here. I think it might be okay. I have some ideas about how to get through this. Um, this team is colossal or no? It doesn't, right? I guess I should cover for Sash Magikarp here, even though I don't think it's super likely. I don't even have, um, oh yeah, double max guard. Yeah, I think I was doomed. I don't think I could get out of the last one. Okay, Dragapult, let's go. I haven't done much, dra have, is this my first Dragapult game? My thought process here is that Dragapult's pretty bulky and they'll only get one special attack boost and I'll be able to drop their defense twice. And I don't think I'll get two shot by this thing, even at plus one. I'm fairly certain I won't get two shot by this thing at plus one, so. Oh, they're not, um, Scarf. Wait, if this thing isn't sad, it's probably sad. Wait, what? That did nothing. Oh, no, that did nothing. Wait, what? What is Magikarp? St wait, wait, what? That did nothing. 
I was like, oh yeah, I'll double into it. It'll kill. A stab. Did no damage. But this isn't gonna do anything, right? Okay, we're big. Eviolite. Oh my god, you can run Eviolite Magikarp. I'm still big chilling though, don't worry. Because I'm physical. Now I can bounce. Because apparently I don't need to worry about anything else. The Phantasm. That's actually kind of heat. It's actually kind of heat. Okay, okay. It makes me feel better about my Dragapult. It's not as bad as I thought. Uh oh, that doesn't sound very good. Ah! My roommate, sorry. Sorry about that. Me. Okay, I got them to mind just two special then. 236 down to 135, okay. Surely they'll go down to uh, uh, an Outrage or a Phantom Force, right? Surely they'll go down to an Outrage or a Phantom Force at plus two. Next card. Minus two defense. That did a lot less than I was hoping it would. I gotta go for max per hour. Right? I'm pretty sure. Let's we'll see if they have leftovers. All right, is there any chance I KO here? Cause I actually think I don't. I'm actually pretty sure I don't. Bag of pulp. No life orb. Versus Great Dilly. On max, on max. Outrage. Minus two, and I have no attack investment. There is no chance. There is a chance, but it's basically zero. Wait, 193. Hang on. Hang on. 193 divided by four is 48. Okay, so I have. I, uh, no, I die. Okay. I don't think that this kills, actually. What's the base power? 90, 100, 120? I don't think this KOs. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. All right, Dragapult, this is minus two, surely. It didn't do anything. <laughs> did Holy cow, okay. Uh, this is a really bad loss. Hang in there, you're not gonna live this, are you? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, it did nothing. So I guess my mistake here was just not what was my mistake? It was Eevee like Carp. I had to attack it twice, right? I, I didn't have a choice. I couldn't keep giving Cradley special attack boosts. Yeah, Para into... Okay, crit? I can never win this. It re recovers more than ideal. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Eventually we'll win this. Trust. Okay, trust. This is minus two defense. What is this? Oh, I keep losing. Okay, I think my mistake is that I'm not bringing Drake's ult every game. I'm just gonna start bringing Drake's ult every game. I'm down. Okay, I'm 2020 Drake's ult. I'm not even looking at their team anymore. Drake's ult beats everything. I'm not, I'm not. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But it literally heals more than ideal. Like it's healing HP. It's at more HP than when I, oh, timer. It has recover. All it needs is one attack. Okay, I need like four crits back to back. I think I'd pee run out of PP before I could do it. All right, I'm not even doing 6%. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep doing it because I wanna see how long this takes at this rate. Okay, I'm gonna timer stall. Nah, I'm not gonna timer stall. Even a crit wouldn't, wouldn't win this for me. How many in a row? How many in a row? One more, one more, one more. I don't even win on timer. That's the, that's the most ridiculous thing. I lose on timer as well. It's 20 minute timer. Okay, five, 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 five. Give me five. Aw. GG. GG. Oh, they boomed me. They boomed me. Dragapult sucks. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not using that thing again. That's my first and last game of Dragapult.
you should concede here 100 percent i should concede the game that i am guaranteed to lose that that no, under no possible circumstance can i ever win i should concede no i disagree oh okay i'm 15 and 6 it's an eighth it's okay folks i am big chilling behold xandra my arch nemesis I'm not looking at their team. Okay, I'm looking at their team. Oh, they have Gastrodon. That's kind of spooks. This looks Azumarill weak. Uh, it kind of looks Porygon too weak, actually. Okay. Here's the plan. I'm going to lead with Azumarill. They're going to forfeit. Easy money. Oh water compaction weakness policy oh no wait they have the sand castle eh heck it i have my strategy i'm 2020 draco's old why don't you have any attack evs on pult the i think the idea with dragapult is that it beats other dragapult so i'm like airstream weakness policy so you send it out you live all the life orb moves and then you airstream and survive stuff the problem is that when you don't activate the weakness policy you are so weak Scissor. I'm big chilling. I'm super big chilling. All right, this is this is a win. This is a win. I win these. I win these every day of the week. I win these. I win these. I win these. I win these. Die. I don't think this is winnable from their end. I mean, maybe, maybe. Swords dance on me. Netball. Oh, I guess scissor is a bug. Big Caesar. But it's slower than Drake's ult, which probably means bad things for the future of this Caesar. Okay, here's the plan. It's fast Magikarp, it's Keyberry Scissor. Uh it tackles itself. Honestly, more than I expected. Sorry, Caesar. I love you, but you gotta go, buddy. Okay, that's nice. We've had a couple tough matches in a row, so getting a win, getting a win like that is nice. Just lead, lead Dracos won't win the game. That's my strategy now. Just lead Dracos won't. Except when I know they're going to think that I'm going to lead Drake's ult, and then I lead Azumarill, and then I win. Drake's ult learns Fire Fang, yeah, which is useful in, against Ferrothorn and Caesar and stuff, and a Scavalier. Though I don't think anyone would use a Scavalier in this. Okay, we have eight games left. I think if we win them all, we can get to 1700. But at this rate, it doesn't look super likely that we're gonna win them all. 1531, okay. Galarian Corsola, oh no, what does that do? All right, I'm 2020 a zoom roll. Mandibaz, what does Mandibaz do? Listen, I like Scissor too, but you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta read the room, buddy. Can't just show up to a Drake's old party, not expect it to max flare. Evil strength tap. 
Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Not one bit. Surely they're not going to bring Galarian Corslo. Oh, they actually didn't bring Galarian Corslo. I think this matchup's in my favor. We've played it a couple times. I'm Drake's ult 2020. I'm 2020 Drake's ult. Except next game, I'm not going to bring Drake's ult. Next game, I'm bringing something else. Just you wait and see. Okay. Hopefully, it's not weakness policy cinderace and scarf magic carp because that would be pretty scary folks cinderachi you think you can just show up here again cinderachi i told you to stay out of these parts They're really thinking about it. They're maxing in this spot? Oh my god. Yeah, Galarian Corsal is an interesting mod. I mean, they, they really took Corsal and they made it good, which is crazy because it was not good at all. But uh, yeah, it's really, really bulky. Alrighty. Now let's see what we're working with here. Is it side hydro pump? Oh! That's so I forget how cool that animation is. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Uh what's less cool is the amount of damage that that does. It is not impressive. Magic Harp almost did as much. Okay, is it weakness policy? Magic Carp? <laughs> Magic Harp and Dragon's are going to do roughly equivalent amount of damage this game. <laughs> So funny. That was so much damage. Magikarp is not playing around. This is so much. I can't get over that. Okay, <laughs> GG. <laughs> Don't bring Cinderachi to a Magikarp fight, folks. I don't know what to tell you. I had Zinderachi on my team initially with Life Orb, and I like it, I dropped it for Ferrothorn, which like in hindsight maybe I shouldn't have done. You know what I mean? But I just like wasn't impressed with it, and not, having seen that, like yeah. Okay, another high ranked opponent. I I would love to get above sixteen fifty ish. Oh god, they have Excadrill. Wait, that's actually a huge problem. Um. I think I gotta do it. The issue is that oh wait no, this doesn't work because they have P2. Um Well there's a couple issues. Are they gonna bring Excadrill into me? Can I bring Ferrothorn here? It's kinda decent, right? I think okay, I think we get Ferrothorn. I know I said I wasn't gonna do it. Ferrothorn's looking really appealing here, to be honest. To be completely honest with you. Ferrothorn's looking really nice. If they bring a physical attacker, Ferrothorn looks so good here. It's just a question of do they have Max Flare special Dragapult? I have no idea. Ferrothorn looks so good though. You, how do you know they don't have a fire move on Pult? They might. It could be it could be special. Though they only have one special attacker if it's or they only have one physical attacker, but I don't know how much thought people are putting into their Magic Carp teams. I could okay. What, it's either this it's P2 is an option. They're not gonna bring. They're not gonna bring Dragon Bolt into me. Trust. A Wiggly Dove can have a fire move as well, but at least it can max versus it. Uh oh, Beast Ball, Luxury Ball. Okay, it's Excadrill. I'm glad I didn't take the bait. 
Uh, could be weakness policy. Oh, X control so spooky. It's special X go. No! <laughs> I haven't played in the X control, so I'm I'm definitely nervous about this. All I need is if, not to be weakness policy X control, and I should be okay, I think, because I can set up uh, multiple steel spikes. They're maxing in this position. Oh my god. I could have maxed Geyser with Magikarp here, but I didn't think it was a good idea because, well, for a number of reasons. Come on, Ferrothorn, you great oaf. Come on. Come on, Ferrothorn, you gigantic tumbleweed. Come on. Don't lose a 1v1 versus an Excadrill in Dynamax. Come on, you're not going to lose a 1v1 in Dynamax versus an Excadrill, are you, you gigantic baboon? No! <laughs> My life is so sad. I can't believe that. Ferrothorn, you are the biggest griefer I've met in my entire life. They crit me. They they actually crit me. I cannot believe that. At least Magikarp's doing a good job. No, oh my god. I knew it was weakness policy. The worst part is that without the crit, I would have been fine because it would have done like 60% and then I would have taken another, I could have max guarded, set up a steel spike. Oh, you creep boon. Okay, I'm done bringing Ferrothorn. This thing is so bad, but I didn't really have an option to deal with this, right? This Ferrothorn wasn't my best option unless I wanted to do Dragapult. I guess I could have done Dragapult here, but I'm pretty sure they had something that made me not want to bring it. But yeah, they had P2 and Wigglytuff, so yeah. That's why I didn't want to bring it. They couldn't have missed, they couldn't have missed the Hydro Pump there. Oh. Yeah, I've never won a game with Ferrothorn. It's so hard. I mean, yeah, the thing is that these weakness policy strategies are really difficult to deal with. I guess this is a matchup where Cinderachi would have been good, but it doesn't even beat P2. We break the Sash. I can't believe that. I was in... If I get another Steel Spike up there, it's actually winnable is the ridiculous thing. That's wild. That's actually wild. Oh man, I should. I guess I needed to be aggressive there and just assume the max card was obvious. But I don't know. It's like it's like a shit. Could have, would have, should you know? I don't take another hit at a max right with plus one defense. There's no way. Like, there's no way I take plus two extra drill. But okay, maybe it's high horsepower. All right, here's the win condition. I get double max guard, which is a one in three, and then it's high horsepower, not earthquake. Okay, never mind. It doesn't work. Oh, I can't believe they crit me. I was fine. I was actually fair. was actually fine here, but I got crit. Okay, it's okay. I don't think a second steel spike would have saved me here. My health was too low. I can't believe I, my Ferrothorn lost a 1v1 versus an extra drill. Folks, I don't think I'm winning this tournament. I don't think it's happened and it's too difficult. Oh man, my delicious points. I can't seem to build any momentum. My poor Magikarp. My poor Magikarp, he's getting knocked out. All right, where are we at in the ladder? The thing is with this, with this rough of a day two, it's not likely for me to win, but I, I mean, there, you know, there's still plenty of games left to play. Okay, top 150, but I, I've basically played eight games. I've played nine games and I've basically not moved at all, which is unfortunate. If I win out here, I'm not even going to get to 1700. Yeah, it's going to be rough, but but I can maybe, I can, you know, I, all I can do is my best. This is a high ranked opponent. If I can win here, I'll be able to eat some delicious points. P2 looks strong here. Um, Didn't I play this person already? Or is it just a similar machine? Both P2 and Dragos will look strong here. I played them before. What did I, was this the, who was this? Was this the Lapras player? Was it the Lapras and I brought Porygon too? I battled this guy. Was this the Lapras player? I do not remember. Um, was this the Lapras? 
Lapras versus P2. Okay, so I did P2 last time. How are they going to adjust to that? The truth of the matter is they don't really have a good answer to P2. Like, they can do Dragazolt, but I don't think that Dragazolt works. I could be wrong about that. I'm not entirely sure. I guess the thing is that I guess I kind of expect them to do Gastrodon, to be honest. I kind of expect Gastrodon. Is that wrong? I kind of want to do Dragozolt, but I'll do P2. I think it should be strong enough. I was right, but I don't know if, if what I how, how I countered it was correct. I'm plus one. Is this correct? I think so. It might be worth setting up a blizzard so I can spam a hail, or a hailstorm so I can spam blizzard go for freeze <laughs> the thing is in the long run we both have recover and i have blizzard freeze chance uh and they should only get one boost as long as i'm smart about it and they can get multiple quake boosts off they can get two quake boosts off which is kind of problematic yeah they can get multiple quake boosts off actually I think I go for freeze. If I click Blizzard eight times, the gods of me not freezing are... Uh, is it te Blizzard's 10% to freeze, right? So it's 90%. It's 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 9 over 10 to the 8th? It's 1 minus 9 over 10 to the 8th? What is that? Uh, it's like a... I feel like I have like a... 30, 40% chance to freeze? Or is it the reverse? Uh oh. You can scald. Oh, but does it have Hydro Pump? In this form, in this format, they should have Hydro Pump, right? Wait, they didn't max. Wait, what? They didn't max? Oh no, they have an advantage over me now. Wait, I could have just one-shot this thing. Wah! Wait, they don't have max Quake Up. I'm big chilling. I'm Omega chilling. They're not going to be able to do anything. Behold. Do they live this? Pause, champ. Do they live this? Because if it does double damage... You know what? Why don't we just to be safe? Click Max Hailstorm here. You know what? That was a mistake in hindsight. That was a big mistake in hindsight. I don't like it. But I think that Max Hail into Hyper Beam into Hyper Beam should kill, maybe. I turn off Recovery with Hailstorm. Whee! I'm going to freeze it. I'm going to freeze the heck out of this guy. Big on Gastrodon. Just how much is this? Uh, 30? Porygon 2 is so strong. It's so strong at plus one and max. It's like, uh, it blows my mind. Hey, it's blowing my mind over here, eh? Uh oh, max quick. I should have flashed. Setting flail powers up your carp flail. I guess that's true, yeah. <laughs> Now my flail is stronger. <laughs> Sleep land in this tour. It's not banned, but you wouldn't really want to go for it most of the time because like, uh, yeah, because you would want to max. It's basically a max turn one thing. Really magic carp. You're really going to do me like this on my birthday. Really? All right. They should do more. They should do 50% more. Oh, right. But they also have the boost. Okay. Pork until you win as long as you hit a, as long as you had a hyper beam. You might only need a blizzard if you hadn't kind of entered there, but. Wait, is there a safe way for me to win? Oh, they went after magic card. No, I broke my, I broke my, no. Okay, hang on. Can we do some math, please? Any math viewers in chat? 296, 384. Hang on, 386. 
386 minus 294 times 2. Wait, no, divided by 2 is 92. Did 92 damage? Well, we'll still do 92 damage. That's how Dynamax works. That being said, I'm pretty sure Hyperbeam kills, especially with Recoil or with Hail. So, do I want to bet on Hyperbeam killing and me being correct, or do I want to go for Double Blizzard, which is safer and can freeze? I can lose to crit. Wait, 92. Did it only do 92? Ah, I'm fine. I'm big chilling. I'm blizzarding. I remember when I killed. Freeze! Plus three special defense. Should do 92. Okay, I was correct, roughly. Okay, they're out of max now. Okay, I should kill. See, I told you setting hail up was good. Now I don't have to rely on accuracy. Please die. For a second, for a split second, I was like, it's not going to KO. Crackling noise? Uh, I don't hear it. I'm sorry. It's fixed. Okay, Porygon 2 is really strong, is what I learned from that. All right, 1637. Nice. GG, Jason. GG. Was a club was a scary one. I'm glad I didn't take the bait on turn one. Squeegee. Okay, if we win these next five, it's at least respectable. Crocodile Abuser. Are you are you are you serious? I have to play against a Crocodile Abuser. Uh, I don't really have a good matchup for this because if I bring Drake Assault, I lose to Crook, and if I bring Oh. But I, I don't know if they're going to bring Krook. Krook seems like a weird pick to me. How do you abuse Krook? You bring... Oh my god, they're already locked in. I'm bringing P2. P2 is a good mon. I, I have faith in P2. P2 beats everything except for Colossal. Are they really not going to bring Colossal versus me? Are they really going to bring Krook versus me? The other person did. I'm doing it. I'm not, I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose because I brought Dragazolt into Crocodile. I'd rather lose because I brought Porygon 2 into Colossal. Oh, that's wild, Jason. Wow. Gastrodune. I still don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Did I get the special defense boost, the attack boost? I wasn't paying <gasps> Oh, I'm so doomed. There's no way I can win this. Um, They gave me an attack boost. Oh, no -y. First or eighth? First or eighth? One time? First or eighth? Oh, no. I probably shouldn't. I can't really let them get three special defense boosts, right? Or I'll lose. Ah. Uh, uh, okay, not what I wanted to do, but okay. I wanted to run Giga Impact, but I guess it's not good. Big. Okay, hopefully this person does the same thing that the last one does and goes for Mirror Coat. Doesn't max. Uh oh. Uh, folks, I don't know how I'm gonna beat this. It's gonna get two special boosts, and I'm not gonna have any boost to deal with it. So it's gonna be plus one, plus two. How am I gonna beat this thing? I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cheese the heck out of it, is my guess. I'm gonna have to Blizzard freeze it or something. Okay, we're not chilling here at all. Can I win with a lot of luck? Hey, wait, Jason, do, do Gastro normally run Scald in this tournament or do they run like a stronger... Do they even learn Hydro Pump? Because I'll freeze it. I will. I believe.
Oh no. It's so doomed. <laughs> it's no, my beloved magic arm. Oh no, and now I can't even hailstorm properly. Hmm. If they're scald, I'm so doomed. Is there any way to win this? I can win with hyper beam crit, right? Maybe. Okay, I don't see a way to win this. I don't want us to get three special boosts. Scald. Everyone's running Scald, so I can't even bank on freezes then. Maybe it doesn't have recover. Is that an option? It probably has recover, right? It's got to have recover, right? Oh, wow. Nice play. Oh, wait, but that would mean that they... Wait, if they're going to give me hail for free, I'm super happy with that. I'll go for strike in that case. Let's see how much this does. Because this will give me an estimate of how much I need to do with how, with how low I needed to get. <clears throat> I wouldn't even mind a pair here. This isn't playing for freeze anyway. Okay, I'll take it. I think that max guard was actually pretty smart. That is good damage. If I just get a little bit more, I can probably win this. Going for hail, they're gonna be held. I'm okay to have the hail chip to be honest. Like I would have liked to flail here, but the hail chip is nice and they only got one special boost. Hang on, let's see how much this, let me pay attention to the numbers here. I'm pretty sure hyper beam, so hyper beam will do the exact amount it just did, which is roughly what it looked like 30% maybe, but am I wrong about that? Hang on, let me look here. I'm not in any offensive danger here. It looks like Hyper Beam will do about 60% of this thing, but it's right now it's just barely out of range. So what I need to do is get this thing into range of Hyper Beam and then click Hyper Beam and win. So I basically need one turn where it doesn't recover or one crit basically with Blizzard. And I don't think with a special boost, even if it is Mirror Coat, I don't think that it will... It has Protect. Interesting. Okay. Protect, Ice, Ground... It probably doesn't have recover is my guess which i guess makes sense you don't really have a lot of room for recover though i don't think protect is that good here but it doesn't have leftovers it's really close to already being in range of hyper beam but i'll just blizzard at once just to ensure because i don't what i don't want to have happen is hyper beam miss the ko and then get two shot especially because i think it doesn't have recover you gotta be kidding me i should have just gone for the hyper beam it's it's protect scald no, it's Protect Ice Beam. Oh, I could have gone for Freezes. It doesn't even have Scald. It is paralyzed. All I need is to get it down to 60% one time. And then I'm big chilling. We've seen all four moves. Okay. I want to check the amount of turns left in Hail. Two turns left? Okay. I may as well spam Blizzard until then because it's going to get hard to hit after that. It's not like they can KO me anyway. This might be a PP stall. They're going for Freezes. How much is this going to do? 134. They're trying to bait me into thinking. Porygon 2. Are you serious? They hit you one time and you freeze? Porygon 2. The issue is that I may already be in range of um, Earth Power. There's the last turn of Hail. I have a win condition here. If I get the one turn of uh, freeze, maybe Para can bail me. Para, you going to bail me out? Bail me out? Okay. I don't think I'm in range of Earth Power. I don't think I'm in range of Earth Power. I'm going to have some faith in Porygon. So I'm going to go for I'm going to go for the Thaw. Porygon 2, I need you to thaw. Gastronaut, I need you to get paralyzed. Gastronaut, Porygon 2, you are griefing me. I will lose this in the long run unless I thaw this turn. Porygon 2, 20%. Come on. Oh, we're still in this, baby. Thank God we're still in this. Okay, give me the para. Give me the para. Para. The thing is that this will drop my special defense eventually. 111 under 48, okay. Give me the para. Give it to me. Give me the para. Come on, Porygon. Give me the para. Give me the paralysis. Para. Okay, they're kind of inting. 144. How much is it doing? Less or more than less than 72. Don't drop. Okay, if we hit this blizzard, we have a very good chance of winning this, I think. 70%, baby. Come on, Porygon. Okay, if they earth power or they get paralyzed, they're in range of hyper beam. Oh, Porygon, please not again. Come on, baby. Okay, Porygon 2. This is a 90% accurate move. Any deleters? Any any gashing on deleters in the chat? Oh my God, come on, come on. You got this. Hold, come on, this should kill. I think I did my numbers right. You... 
Oh, I can't win this. Oh, no. -y. I can't believe that. That didn't even do 50%. Oh, no. I need the para this turn. I need the para. Come on. It's, it hasn't happened in so long. Oh, please. Para. Para. <laughs> okay. Uh... What's the timer? What's the timer rule here? Can I win this? I can. Win. Okay, I went on hyper. I, I think I lose in the long run because. Give me the paras. I need a bunch of paras back to back. Okay, they're going for freezes again, which is spooky. Hey, I'm gonna go back to full HP after what just happened. I don't have that many blizzards, is the issue. Uh. Oh! I can win this. It is possible. Uh, what I need is is some some nice luck. I need like a, a blizzard. Okay, I think at this range, blizzard into hyper beam might get it. Although I think it was even lower before, so probably not. Okay, I connected. Any any paras? Any crits? You gashing on? You gashing on? <sighs> I think they're gonna protect. I think they're PP stalling. I'm gonna thunder. Oh. Oh, para. EP, okay. The thing is, as soon as, as soon as this drops, I become very dangerous. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do here. I don't have more. I have less your time than them. I've hit every blizzard out of hell. I need a, I need a crit. Come on. Okay. I only have a couple more chances of blizzard crits is the truth. I'm hitting all of them. Come on, Crypt Lizard, Crypt Lizard, one time. Come on. No drops, okay. Uh, what's the timer? I just need, okay, I need, I need, I need. I don't think I can win after Blizzard run out. Because I need, I need Hyper Beam crit. This is all because I didn't get the download boost. I don't think I win this, folks. Para? You garbage Gastrodon Mon. Okay, is it 20 minute timer? Am I gonna sit here for 20 minutes doing this? May as well, Blizzard. All right, one more Blizzard chance. Probably just missed this one. Okay, I missed, okay. Where have my Paras been? How many recovers do I have left? 10? Okay, it's a PP stall battle, I guess. <laughs> Okay, the play is simple. Don't get frozen. Okay, so far so good. Nope. No. I don't see how I could possibly win this, to be honest. I think I would need Hyper Beam Crit into Full Para. I think that's the win condition. Or I'd have to find some kind of garbage timer win condition. Go back to full. I don't think I'm going to be able to even take this to timer. I think I'm going to run out of PP first. Okay. I'm going for hyper beam this turn, I think. I think that makes sense because I'm not in range anyway. So I may as well go for hyper beam now. Like I'm not in range of two earth powers. All right, crit Porygon. It looks so cool. Just get me, let me the crit. Come on, come on, baby. How come they're not gonna, oh, they went for Earth Power. I think I'm dead now. No, I survive. No drop, okay, we're big chilling. Plus one struggle wins, trust. <laughs> the nice thing about Hyper Beam is that they have to choose their move. Whereas I don't, so I save some time. Going for Ice Beam, okay. I guess, yeah, their odds of freezing me again are pretty high. Didn't get it though. How do I still have less your time than them? How come they're not getting paralyzed? Hello? Any paralyzers? They're probably gonna recover. They have no reason not to. Oh! Porygon 2. Land me. Show me the critical hit of my dreams, Porygon. Alternatively, I would accept two full paras. Back to back. Crit! Come on, you Porygon! Okay, para. No! <laughs> you piece of gastrodon. 
<laughs> I hate this thing. The thing is that I, I have to save one hyper beam to try and win on timer in the end. Hera. Oh. Okay, hang on. 141 down to 74. I'm taking the gamble this turn. I don't think they're going to recover. I think they're going to earth power. I think I will survive. And I'm going to gamble that two hyper beams from this range kills. Because they're not going to recover here. They're going to expect me to recover. They might even ice beam. Crit. Come on, Porygon. Going to be really close. I don't think that's in range. I forgot that. I forgot that I don't get to use it again next turn. All right. I gambled on the full para. I gamble on full para. One time. One time. One time. One time, Porygon. Come on. <laughs> you haven't they haven't gotten parried and so that's the game which that was like come on for on one and four one and four baby <laughs> uh, couldn't crit i couldn't para they ever special age offense dropped me either all right that was a smart gastron i don't actually think i had anything on my team to beat that to be honest i don't think i threw what was i, I was i was i had to take the risk at some point i was running out of pp i actually think it was i actually don't think it was a bad move to do what i did because I had one in four chance to win on para and I had one in 24 chance to win on crit. So I don't actually, I don't, I think I, I don't like the thing is that I was losing the war of attrition anyway. So I, I saw them being greedy and I, I, I saw identified a win condition because if they just went back to full HP, I was never beating them without a crit. Whereas with this, like also had the chance of full para. So I actually think it was the correct move, even though it didn't work. What is this? Basically, I always have odds to win on on crit, except it might not even kill at full HP, so I'm not sure that's even correct. P2 looks pretty good here, to be honest. Even though I did just lose with P2, so should I go back to my root? Should I go back to Drake's ult? I'm kind of worried about the hippo. I'll take you. Take it. Instant's not very good. Like, basically, the Mons... This is basically, like, pseudo-single battles with Dynamax. It's basically 1v1 single battles, but you also have Magikarp, so... Like, Instant was a support Pokemon, so it doesn't want to really support Magikarp. I guess you could do, like, Weakness Policy Instant, but why wouldn't you do Colossal at this point, you know? <clears throat> who, did I, who did I bring? P2? Icky. I think it's Weakness Policy is hard. How much do we think plus one max does... Charizard. My plus one or plus. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure I just always max lightning here. I don't see any reason to. I, I didn't run the calc, but like, there's no point max striking. I'm not gonna get speed advantage over this thing anyway. Zard. Okay, wildfire, not so bad. Into P2. The thing is, without Sunzard, does so much less damage. Like, we're all used to, like, Sunzard. That's Life Orb, too. Yeah, that does not do enough. I think if Hydro Pump connects, I should, the Charizard should go down. I actually wouldn't be shocked if even without Hydro Pump connecting, the Zard goes down here. But with it, I'm. Oh, yeah, that's not living. That does a lot of damage, dang. That was nice. Nice quick little win. Can't be upset about that. I don't know though. The wildfire's kind of adding up, folks. It's kind of getting there. Wildfire damage is still like ridiculous. I, I like, I still kind of can't believe it exists. I'm just getting VGC flashbacks now. Well, not flashbacks, current, current flashes, whatever. 
Okay, they could still win this. If they get all the full paras, no. Mm -bop. It feels a little overkill to see like this giant Porygon 2 just absolutely launch this barrage of lightning towards the poor little Magikarp. By the way, uh, if you have a Twitch Prime sub, you uh, can use it for free once per month on a streamer to support them. If you're enjoying all this Magikarp content, maybe check to see if you have a Twitch Prime sub available. Uh, you can see, you can just click on it uh, in the bottom corner of the screen. And if you have one, you can sub for free. And it, it does not auto renew, so you can get another one next month too. That's my plug. <clears throat> Been stuck in like 1630s for forever. Oh man, yeah, okay, so there's clearly a meta. It's like Dragapult, P2, Lapras, Dragazolt, uh, Cinderachi. I don't think Dragapult can beat. I don't believe in Dragapult being able to beat P2. I'm bringing Dragazolt. He's my guy. Thanks for the subs. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, Josh. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Post Malone just went live on Twitch. That's very exciting. Post seems like a cool guy from the clips I've seen of him. How many losses? A lot. Like what? Eight, I feel like? Seven or eight? But I've legitimately lost count. It has not been a super successful. It, this is a hard format, honestly, because so much of it comes down to the leads. Like here, for example, I think I led wrong and I'm pretty sure I just lose now. And I don't think there's anything I can do about that, honestly. Unless Drake is a lot stronger than I realized, but I think there's no chance, right? Yeah, like I could have led P2 here, but I... Wait, why did I... I should have let... Uh... I should have let P2 here. That was a big mistake. I got I got a little distracted because I just like to use Drake as old. F Bog, thanks for the uh, Prime. Zeus Overwatch, thank you for the six months. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Maybe it's special. That's true. Could be special. But even if it's special, I don't see Drake as old getting not, like doing anything other than like I don't think I'm three hit KO'd here to be honest. Although maybe if it's. A lot of them are weakness policy too. Like, I don't know. Like, I just don't, unless, I would basically probably need a crit Oko, which is not going to happen here. Yeah, Alice, which isn't a problem in this format, at least. I don't think they're going to misclick. Yeah, I don't have any SP control options either. Dude, thanks for the six months. Really appreciate that. Uh, no, Alice, which is not good in this format. You just want to Dynamax pretty much as soon as possible. <clears throat> If it's special, maybe it's a three hit KO. Maybe. Dragapult doesn't have the biggest special attack stat. Let's find out. Wormwind into Magikarp. Wait. Wait, why Magikarp? If this is Life Orb, they might have just thrown. Wait, hold on. Life Orb? Uh oh. If this is a weakness policy, they did not just throw. That looks like it's targeting. I couldn't see Magikarp. Please don't be weakness policy. Please be something else. Please be like focus ash. Please don't be weakness policy. Oh, so much damage. <laughs> okay. Okay, maybe folks, maybe if it's special. Maybe if it's special, I can survive. Maybe if it's special and like super bulky. By the way, yeah, no max. Correct. Okay, hang in there, Drakey. Hang in there, Mr. Zolt. It's not special, folks. Or maybe it is, but it doesn't matter. Oh, Drake Zolt, I put my faith in you and it was my fault. I brought you when I shouldn't have. No, it was a safe play what they did. I mean, they could have just attacked Drake Zolt, but yeah. If I were weakest policy, they could have lost. Oh, man. Thanks for the primes, Rando. It's okay. It's okay. I, I, you need to be more particular about the Pokemon you bring. Yeah, there's no top cut for this, but we're probably not winning. Uh, this is difficult. I, I was doing really well in the showdown ladder, but I, I am having some trouble. Like the weather. Thanks for the prime. Well, we got two games left, so let's give them our all. Let's try and win. We can at least maybe end higher than we started the last 15 games. 
I think probably playing 30 games in one day was also not the right call in hindsight. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Basically, Dragozolt beats every single Pokemon except for Gastron. So should I assume they're going to bring Gastron on to counter that? Well, I'm not going to do that. Because I don't think I have any other options here. Dragapult's not very good. Into Dragapult can't do anything into Chansey, so I don't want to bring that. Um, what else? Steel Ball. Kong. Okay, this should be fine. The question is, should we now cover the guts call the the max guard turn one? I don't know what they're. I still don't think it's the right answer to be honest. But we're pretty sure they're gonna max guard, right? But there's no guarantee they're gonna bounce. I think I always do this, even if I think it doesn't work. This is my redemption. I've already lost to one Conkleder because yeah, I made a lot of bad moves. Let's see if I can play better this time. It will counter? Oh my goodness. I don't think it would work. Ah, yeah, actually it would work. But it doesn't counter. It's probably max guard, but it's not guaranteed to be max guard, and that's the important thing. Also, even if it's max guard, it, like, okay, if, if, it, if Magikarp could not bounce, or if I knew my Drake's ult was faster, which it's not, then I would, um... Okay, see, yeah, this is why I didn't do that. Because because if this happens, I'm in bad shape, right? Target's Magikarp. GG, Squeegee. Oh, I bounced? Oh, it's Power Herb! Wow. Wow. Wait, Power Herb Magikarp's kind of heat. A lot of damage. There's no guarantee this thing has Protect. It could easily be dual stab fighting or dual fighting moves. Um... Earthquake rock move. It could also be ice punch. It could also be thunder punch. It could even be fire punch. It could even be max quake if you can even believe that. Did a lot of damage. That's life orb. There's no way. There's no way that's not life orb. Trust. That's life orb. Trust. Trust. That's life orb. Yeah, actually, I don't think that. I think, you know, a lot of people were telling me that it might be life orb, but I think actually it's not. Like, I know it's kind of surprising if you're a casual viewer, but for someone like me, I can tell that, like, based on the damage, that it's probably it's probably not life orb. Don't feel bad, though, if you thought it was life orb, because, like, it's a mistake anyone can make, but for someone like me who really, you know, kind of knows the ins and outs of Pokemon, I would never. Personally, I would just never make that mistake. Look at how much this does. Too much. I'm going to say it. Just too much damage. Okay. Dragozolt 1v1s. Let's go, Dragozolt. Finally. Victory. I've, I've revenged myself upon... <laughs> For some reason, the phrase, like, it, like the phrasing revenged myself upon versus, like, I got my revenge on is so much funnier to me. They're just wasting my time. Wait, actually, they're not wasting my time. They could win this because Hustle is not 100% accurate. So if they bounce full para my magic harp. Oh, wait, but I am slower bounce. They could just fix the timing. They'll, they'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. They'll get the timing right. They'll pair a full pair on my magic harp. They'll kill my magic harp, and then I'll miss every move for eternity. I don't have aerial ease. I think the other moves are more important, personally. Oh, that's how it starts. They're going to waste more of my time, which is okay. I don't blame them. Okay. Oh, they're going for kills. Wait. Oh, yeah. They can just KO Magikarp. Oh, never mind. They could have taken out Magikarp, but... The thing is that you don't really need speed boost in this format because there's not a lot kind of like that's just above Dragazolt, and you really want the other moves more. Dragazolt. I mean, it's okay. If he's going to miss moves, it should be now. 
why you don't click max lightning to kill conkledur because max lightning is weaker and um max dragon lowers attack stat whereas max lightning doesn't do anything for me i guess it's electric terrain but it's not like i need it at this point para nice now i can hydro pump it to death okay i was like there's no way he misses three times in a row right i also like that for bolt beak drake ult like leans forward like he's gonna use his beak and then it beak and then he turns around and sends it like waves his tail I just think it's surprising personally I just think it's surprising that's all I'm saying all right last one let's see can we see where we're at prior to this I don't think it's gonna be super good top 150 maybe top 100 okay respectable I mean keep in mind that we're we're doing we're front loading our 15 games so by the end of tomorrow it will not be we will no be we will not be top 100 most likely even if we win this but for right now it's respectable peak to top 50. Was Magikarp viable in this format? Yeah, actually. Most viable format for Magikarp ever. Okay, high ranked opponent. I think those are Japanese. Okay, Dracozolt, Ferrothorn, Primarina, Gastrodon, Gyarados. You know what? It might not be correct, but I kind of want to do a zoom roll here. Okay, wait. First of all, Porygon 2 looks really strong here. That's the first thing I noticed, right? P2 looks super strong here. Basically, the only reason I wouldn't do P2 is because of... Um, because of... Ferrothorn? Uh, I really can't do... I, I missed the Ferrothorn on their side. I don't think I can do Azumarill then. Right? Can I do Azumarill if it's... Can I do Azumarill here? Azumarill doesn't beat Gastrodon or Ferrothorn. So I probably shouldn't do Azumarill. Um, I could do Porygon 2. You know what? dracozolt has been kind of my main guy this whole time. I say let's, when in doubt, let's put the faith in Dracozolt. Because Drake, Dracozolt's carried us this far at this point. I think it's fair for him to bring us home with this. Uh, you know? I have faith. Like, is he going to beat everything? No. Are there lots of Pokemon on this team that he loses to? Yeah. Well, when my back is against the wall, I think he's the one I want. Well, I don't think my Dragozolt has any speed. Events. And the winner of this little competition will be the one who moves first. So, perhaps it's a speed tie I don't think it's a speed tie I don't think I have any speed EVs on this Drake's ult um can I win yes I could get my first critical hit of the of the of the day and I could one shot Drake's ult or we could be speed tying and they also don't have any speed EVs um I had a way out if they if they were if it was truly a speed tie i could have maxed my magikarp maxed airstream okay and then outraged and hit the right target and hit hustle that was the wing condition here <laughs> okay drake is low. you need to win this speed tie i understand you've lost the first one but this one is surely a tie oh they missed okay nice so far so good ah survive well, folks, I have some good news and I have some bad news. Uh, well, the bad news is that I do not think that my Dragazult is going to be winning this game. Um, but the good news is that Magikarp... Um, doesn't have to fight anymore. He doesn't have to die. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Well, <laughs> GG. I don't think I should have brought Drake's ult to that one, folks. All right, well, I'm out of games for the day, and my throat's starting to hurt because I talked too much. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I may be back tomorrow, but honestly, like, I think we might have, like, I don't think I'm winning this tournament anyway. So, um, we might have the footage we need anyway at this point. So, um,. Yeah. 
I think that's it. I think we'll wrap up here. Any any last questions before I finish up? Okay, well, yes. With the benefit of hindsight, I know who the right choice was. But if they if they brought Ferrothorn, then I would have just lost with Porygon too. So it's it that's that's part of the difficulty of the format. Correctly anticipating what your opponent's gonna bring, which I don't think is a big skill of mine after playing this.